All right. Hello, everyone. And peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear to you. Uh, please, uh, I'm doing it early uh, in purpose because I'm trying to do my broadcast in different times so we can reach out to different countries and different locations. I know that now we will not have too many, uh, but that's fine with me as long as we can get uh, give the opportunity for someone who always struggled to be with us to be with us because of the time difference uh <clears throat> you know uh, every day we go uh, on air uh, the muslims they face a struggle it's not us and the struggle is very simple they do not know what to do they do not know what to say and they have no answer When we speak to a Muslim about any issue in his book, right away he tried to divert the topic to speak about my book. Hmm. You see, everyone knows that our channel is specifically made to expose Islam. And this is my specialty. And in order not to let us go there so they start to throw questions have nothing to do with our topic and even after they ask their questions which have nothing to do with our topic we got them busted but always we need to remember that the muslim strategy of diverting you or changing your direction sometime can be successful and this is what they do always with the christians and I mean here normal Christians. A Muslim, he comes to you, he says to you, your Bible is corrupt. And right away you go to the defense mode. Oh no, my Bible is not corrupt. And you will notice that the Muslim, he will say to you the same thing he said one million times, and he will hear the same answer he heard one million times, and tomorrow he will say the same question. Which means you are just wasting your time. It doesn't matter really how much you explain to him. Still, he will repeat because he is not even listening. Yesterday, <clears throat> when we have a live broadcast, and we said to the Muslims, who of you agree with the, uh, Mr. Muhammad Hijab and his nurse? In what he said in uh, when he spoke to David Wood, None of the Muslims dare to say that he agree with him. So why you say that he was victorious? Because simply, Muslims don't listen. He is a Muslim, and this guy is a Christian. We support the Muslim. It doesn't matter what we say. Even if he is exposing Islam. <clears throat> as long as this guy is a Muslim, and this guy is not, whatever the Muslim he say, even he is insulting the Prophet of Islam, we go and support him. This is very silly and very stupid, and that is helping us more to expose Islam. So I want to say thank you for the Muslims for being silly. Now, we will show you another way of being silly. Being silly is something they inherited from their God. Please invite your friends. Until now, we have less than 300. Let us be the 300 from Sparta and defeat the big army of the false Allah. If we go in the Quran, <clears throat> the yellow pages of Allah, there is a very easy way to prove that Allah is a shish kebab God. And by the way, my Skype is open. Only Muslims can call for now. Today I'm planning not to stay long because my throat really hurt, you know, hurting me. All right. So let us see. In chapter 4, verse number 47. <clears throat> chapter 4, verse number 47. The God of Islam, which is Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, he is trying to scare and intimidate the Christians and saying to them, if you do convert to my religion, I will erase the details of your, your, your face. I'm going to make your face flat. You will you will have no eyes, you will have no eyebrows, and you will have your nose going inside your head. How stupid 
to say such a thing. And why Allah did not do that to us? Here we go. Muhammad, he made a threat 1400 years ago. I am a Christian prince. I go every day. I don't believe in Muhammad. I spank Muhammad. I even give him Vaseline each time after we spank him. And Allah is not erasing the details of my face. Muhammad, he spoke to the Christians in his time and he's saying to them, do it now before we erase your faces. A funny Muslim, he says, no, he will erase their faces in the judgment day. You, you, are you stupid or what? Judgment day, people will go to hell. What, what, what is that erase faces? Who care? And here it says the same as we did to the one who is cursed in the Sabbath. According to the Quran, those who they are cursed in the Sabbath, Allah, he made them not in the judgment day. He made them already supposedly pigs and monkeys. So don't be silly and don't be funny trying to defend the stupidity of your prophet. So when Allah, he made such a decision or let us say a threat, he exposed himself. Now, I'm going to go and see the interpretation for this verse. And let us see what the Muslims in their false interpretation. By the way, all the Muslim books of interpretation, they are not telling the truth. Let me tell you what the interpretation is about for those who do not know. Books of interpretation is meant only, only and only to defend Muhammad and his book, not to explain the Quran. The Muslims, after they notice that a lot of people, they are criticizing Islam and the Muslims are not uh, superior no more. This is why you notice the more Islam became weaker, the more Islam deny things which is there. To make it simple for you, if we compare between an interpretation of someone he was more close to the time of Muhammad and someone like Ibn Kathir who was more farther from the time of Muhammad, we will notice that Ibn Kathir, he go to the defend mood, he is not explaining the Quran, he is just trying to deny stupid things his prophet said. But if we go to an earlier interpretation, we will find the story is different because at that time, the Muslim, they don't care if you like it or not, we are victorious. At that time, the Muslims were strong and they are conquering countries around them. So because of that, I'm not going to care. Who, he, this is how it is. The Quran says, kill them all. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you know what? You don't like it? Not like now they try to say, oh, the Quran. Yes, the Quran says, uh, kill them. But it was about that time only. Muslims after centuries after Muhammad were killing people and then now they are killing people. What do you mean after that time only? So they try to change the interpretation in order to defend Muhammad, but still you cannot do that. Read with me here. <clears> oh, <throat> who you believe, and this is the seer Al Jalalain. This is their scholar, not mine. Or who you believe, who have, or who you have been given a scripture, sorry. Believe in what we have revealed of the Quran. Confirming what is with you of the Torah. But hold on, hold on. If you read the Muslim interpretation or translation, sorry, they, ch they change what it says here in Arabic. Do you see here it says, it says, believe in what, confirming what is with you. If you go to Islamic translation if we go here in the verse not itself does it say confirming what is with you look what they say confirming what was already with you already with you they would already hmm. what does that mean they don't want to admit that the stupid Quran is confirming the Bible to be accurate because this is what it says confirming what is with you so they try to manipulate the translation to make it look like no what was already with you before like not now mm. here we see that things can getting exposed and then confirming what is with you of the torah before we elaborate by the way here it's not about the torah only because it says Utul kitab Utul kitab is not the christians is not the jews alone it is the christians and the jews uh before we elaborate 
oh sorry obliterate faces erasing the eyes and the nose uh, and eyebrows in them and turn them inside out and make them like naps of a neck a flat plate or curse them to transform to apes and we curse them we transform them in the sabbath among what 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 is that what is that brother let us convert to islam brother i'm terrified allah is going to erase my eyebrows uh, do you know how much women they spend money these days to make their eyebrows my brother imagine after all the money they spend especially muslims who they are number one in the world who spend money for makeup and perfume and the plastic surgery to the point if you go to asia you will see that every every beauty salon they have a big sign says halal plastic surgery have you ever heard of a halal plastic surgery I mean, is it halal to make a breast surgery? Anyway, let it go. They knew that those Abdul, they take anything, it's called halal. I saw with my own eyes a shoe, it says halal. I mean, have you ever heard of a halal shoe? Why, you want to eat it? Are you going to eat the shoe? And by the way, the first one who have a plastic surgery, it was the prophet, and we can show you the hadith, but after we finish this. But here we notice that the God of Islam, he made a big threat saying, if you don't convert to my religion, do it now before he is giving you warning, before, which means before you die, you are going to do that. Min qabla an natrimisa wujuhan. Do it now. Do it now before. And you know how stupid this threat is. Muhammad, by making such a threat, he exposed himself to be a false prophet and he exposed his God, Allah, to be a false God. If God, he wanted something to be, he say, be is going to be. Okay, he, Allah, he threat us. If you don't convert to Islam, I'm going to do that to your nose. My friend, I have a nose. I can even punch my ATM machine with it. Hmm? It's like a half inch tall. I mean, long. Why Allah did not put my nose inside my face? Why I still have details on my face? Where is where is the miracle of Allah? And here, by the way, we notice something very stupid too. Anyone notice with me something additional in the story is stupid? Who noticed something stupid with me in the story? Hey, my friend, if you are not a Muslim, don't call me. Are you a Muslim? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. Uh, are we live? Yes, we are. Okay, um, I am from Germany. My English is not so good. Right. I just wanted to ask one question. Uh, mm. This guy, you know him, Ramazan mm. in Germany, yeah. told us that you use uh, some stupid explanations in relation to uh, satanic verses mm. that you showed Elijah. Mm. I wanted to ask, was it um, Ibn Kathir in Arabic or was it an explanation, this website on uh, Kingdom Saudi Arabia or something like that? Yeah, I showed in Arabic. What's okay? So what? What? Uh, so he's saying it's lying. Um, yes, because uh, he says it's not there. And well, I just want to know if, if you see, I showed the link. I showed the details. He is saying that there. He is a scam. Like, and you know why this coward don't call me and get me busted? And I will put it right now in the screen. What do you, you know? think? If he is really brave, why he is sending this poor guy to call me? And somebody told me actually that he heard him saying don't call him i forbid you from calling him i forbid you from debating him who, who are you to forbid him why are you in control of him he's a goat and why he himself who keeps saying that this guy is lying don't give me a call i mean give me a call here we go let's say call me and say hey christian prince i challenge you to show me this mm -hmm. yeah but he says that it's uh, haram to speak with you 
Oh, haram! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because the prophet. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, didn't his prophet he spoke to those who insulted him? Uh, I think he spoke to everybody uh, but you. <laughs> See, this is this is a big fat lie. And if it is haram to speak to those who insult the prophet, every Christian he insult the prophet because the second you don't agree that Muhammad is a prophet, that means you are saying that he is a false prophet. Mm -hmm. The second you say I am I am a Christian, it's mean you don't believe in Muhammad. That is an insult to Muhammad. That's mean he is not a prophet, and you don't agree that he is a prophet. Which means you are saying he's a false prophet. You say it or not, it is there. So he is a big fat potato, and we can go right now, right now as we speak live on air. If you have the courage to call me, to do it, and let everybody see. And not only that, I will show it from the book of Asbab al Nuzul. I will show it from the book of Ibn Abbas. I will show, show it from At Tabari. I will show all the interpretation of he wish. You know, I challenge him to call me and tell me which interpretation he like me to read, starting from Ibn Kathir. Yeah, the problem is that this guy can even speak uh, good German. You know, he speaks um, no no English. No problem. Okay, so how he know? Okay, how do he speak Arabic? He speak Arabic well, yes. Okay, so why he don't call me and let us read together? <laughs> yeah, I would Do jihad for Allah. <laughs> you see, all the campaign of Muhammad, most of them, like in Khalid bin Walid as, as an example, he used to be the enemy of Muhammad. And then we came with Muhammad. Okay, here we go. So Muhammad did not talk to him. Muhammad's daughters used to be the wives of the enemy of Muhammad. Not only, not only, they are like uh, 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 you know like uh, with the someone he don't like like Muhammad they are the enemy which means yeah. the enemy of Muhammad was sleeping with his daughters <laughs> so what is the excuse that he will not talk to me and don't you want to make things clear to the Muslims here we go every day there is Muslims leaving Islam just a second ago I, I have a message from Amir he said to me that this guy or those guys they are saying that he is lying about Muhammad um, uh, the Muslims they are fighting over his uh, washing and his uh, his knots and his snot and his, uh, his garbage here we go this is Sahih al-Bukhari all right yeah and in Sahih al-Bukhari it says it clearly that the, the Muslims they fight over the abolition of the Prophet here we go. This says, look how look how big this hadith. Look what how big this hadith. Abolition? abolition is the water when you wash yourself. Would mean you wash your your, your feet, your private, like you know your body, underarm, uh, oh. you know nose, nose, nose. You know, like you wash yourself. You know. Yeah. I read, read now, Muhammad, you. Muhammad, he taught the Muslim certain way to do abolition, but sometimes he 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 break it himself. However, Muhammad, he at least he is what he was washing his feet. He cleaned his snot from his nose with it. Uh, he put the water in his mouth and he spit it and then uh, uh, he washed his hands and all the way to the, to the to the elbow and then the Muslims they are fighting over it and yet they are saying to Amir uh, you are lying there is no such a thing where you get this from here we go this is Sahih al-Bukhari it's in the front of us let me show you the reference and we will read it together. Okay. But why they did that? Did they think because that, obviously uh, they worship him, you know? Because why the Muslims will do that if he if they are not worshiping him? Mm -hmm. uh, let us see. Hmm. They thought he's God or what? Obviously. Here we go. For Allah, he met an Aham or Sulullah, he saw Allah, who Allah, he was Salam and Uhamatan, Illa Waka at Fika Firajulin Minhum, Fadella Kabiha, Wajahu, Wajilduhu. The Prophet, he never, he never spot or he clean his nose, like you know, snot, like you know, he cleaned his dirt from his nose or from his mouth. But it fell or a spit, it fell in the hand of one of the believers, which means when he spit or he cleaned his nose, right away the Muslims they will jump to hold it and they wipe their face and their skin with it. And not only that, they continue. 
وإذا مرهم ابتدروا أمره وإذا توضأ كادوا يقتتلون على وضوئه and when he do ablution which means washing his body with water they fight over the water of his body let us read together the translation which is going to be obviously a false translation uh, let us see hmm. okay read, read with me by Allah whenever Allah messenger spat do you see it mm. do you see the screen my friend yes let me zoom in let me zoom in so that Abdul they see this is the truth and this is Sahih Bukhari what they want to say his line they keep saying their line let us see who's the liar by Allah whenever Allah messenger is spat this uh, the uh, spittle would fail in the hand of one of them ie the prophet companions he would rub it on his face and his skin and if he ordered them they would carry his order immediately and if he performed ablution they would struggle to take the remaining water by the way he's struggling it's not correct it says they fight over it yaqtatiluna they fight together over the leftover of the water water what water muhammad he clean his his body with it uh, his feet his nose his mouth etc so the muslims are fighting over the dirty water of muhammad and this is in the front of our face is this sahih Sure too, this is Sahih. And it's repeated more than one time. You see, it's not only that. Uh, <clears throat> let us see. Here we go. Again, in the same hadith. In the same hadith, repeat again, the same story. Uh, Muhammad respected by his companion by Allah. If he spat, the spittle would... Don't call me now, guys. I'm talking to someone. Why you are calling me? Uh, if he spat, the, spit, the, the spittle would fall in the hand of one of them, i.e. the prophet companion who would rub it in his face and his skin. They are repeating the same thing twice. Now, if we go down, let us see the reference. This is a very long hadith. Look how long. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Here we go. Let them dare to say this is a lie. Do you see the reference, my friend? Yes. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2731 and 2732. Now, there's other hadith the Muslim, they are saying to Amir that Christian prince, he lied to you. Which hadith is that? The hadith that they are they, they, they are using the water of his wash or the wash in his clothes to heal the, the supposedly for the sick. The sick, they come to ask for it. Let us find that. Hmm. Uh, so here why, we go read with me this why? one my friend here we go this is the second one all right and this mm -hmm. is sahih muslim hadith number 2069a aisha she used she washed the clothes of muhammad in purpose and she gave the water of the wash to those who they are sick to heal with it this is the reference Mm. So why there's sometimes written it's Sahih and sometimes there's nothing? No, this is Sahih. This is additional. It's not in the book. The book it doesn't say Sahih or not. This is Sahih Muslim. So you see the books of Sahih are six according to Muslim Sunni. So mm. anything there it should be. This is why it's called the authentic six. If we go right now to Google, if we go to Google and we search what is the authentic six, <clears throat> the authentic six. It's like the musketeer, you know, the three musketeer. Yeah. Uh, the the authentic. Yeah, the problem is you can show anything you want, but it's always not Sahih. It's who it cares? They can lie as much as they want. We get them busted, my friend. They can say as much as they want. Here we go. The six authentic books of hadith ask or our Imam. This is another scumbag. His name is an Imam. All of them, they are the same. Now they will accuse their Imam that he is a liar too. They will. Just wait. So there are six Sahih of hadith. Here we go. The six authentic books of hadith. Authentic. So those books are authentic. You do not need to write next to the hadith authentic to make it authentic for it is already authentic. Read with me carefully. They are counting for you the sixth hadith of authentic, which is considered to be authentic by the Muslims, Abdul. Here it says the following. 
the book IE Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih Muslim Sunan Nasai Sunan Abi Dawood Sunan Turmudi and Sunan Ibn Majah and here here they have for you the pictures of the collection it's not one book those are six writers so when they lie and they say okay this is the if this is because they are in it's it's very a big embarrassment it's a big shame they are trying to get away with it anything okay when I show you that it says that Muhammad he bowed down to the three daughters and this is in your book and you say to me this is a lie that's mean you Muslims are liars <laughs> It's not me. I am just showing you what is in your books. So here we go. The Muslims are fighting the spit, fighting over the dirt, fighting over the garbage of Muhammad, fighting over his snot. Nukhama. Do you know what Nukhama? Nukhama is the, 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 the boogers. The dirt come from your nose or come from your mouth. Okay. You know, to prove that what Nukhama mean, we can go to now to, 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 uh, to, the, to the hadith. I will type the word Nukhama in front of you. Let us see what the Muslim translate Nukhama. Here we go. In Tanakhama, in Tanakhama, Nukhama, illa waqa'at fi kufi rajul. This is the hadith I showed you already. But let us see what Nukhama first mean. I will, I, I will click at Nukhama. Here we go. The Messenger of Allah saw a spittle or a snot or a sputum sticking in the wall toward the, 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 the Kaaba. So what is Nukhama? Nukhama can be boogers, can be a, sp a, a spittle, or a snot, or a sputum. Sticking, sticking, and he what, what? He was scratching it. In order to scratch something, it have to be something became solid. What Muhammad, he was scratching. This is what the Muslims are fighting over. So when they say you are lying, well, you need to see who is lying. As you see, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Again, mm -hmm. if we go and we type the word Nukhama again, right? Okay. We go to this hadith. It says it clearly here that anytime Muhammad, he, uh, uh, he throw his Nukhama. ma Rasulullahi. صلى الله عليه وسلم نخامة إلا وقعت في كف رجل منهم فدلك بها بها وجهه وجلده. We just showed you that نخامة mean a snot, a spat, uh, all kind of dirt. And here it says that I swear by Allah, the Prophet he never he have a نخامة coming out of him, but the Muslims they fight over it. So why Muslims are fighting over a, a boogers or be over a snot of the Prophet or a spat of the Prophet and why they are rubbing their face with it? Do we have any Muslim to explain to us? Maybe because he was the best of mankind, you know? Well, I have, I, uh, so if I am a best of mankind, you are going to, uh, to, to worship my snot? You are going to rub my snot over the face? Hmm? Mm -hmm. What kind of logic is that? You know, obviously this guy, he was making himself as God. And why Muhammad did not say to them, why, don't do that? Isn't it obvious that Muhammad, he is encouraged them to do that? And I believe, I believe I really strongly that the Muslims, they were not doing that because they believe in Muhammad, but because they are trying to show him how much they are loyal to him because he is a crazy gang, you know, monster. So in order to get yourself not to be killed by Muhammad, because if you don't, if you see that you don't, you don't really worship him, he will kill you. So they are fighting over to show the hypocrisy so he can give them a better job, give them more money. So the prophet, he spit, I run over the spit and like, I put it in my face and the prophet, mm, God bless you. God bless you, my friend. <laughs> what a scam and what a stupid religion. Let this potato dare to call me. And tell him stop hiding behind the cat in your disc. You do not know anything about your religion and you are a stupid. And I will make all the Muslims of Germany leave Islam. And by the way, my book, Six and Allah, is already done translation to the German. We need to add just the Arabic text and soon is going to be published. And let us see how they will cry about it. I'm a Christian prince, my friend. And here we get them busted. One thing, um, 
I want to say that uh, I just uh, ordered your books, uh, Allah's Inception and Deception, and the other. There are many um, grammatical faults, you know, mistakes. Mistakes, you mean in the in the translation? Not in the translation, in grammatic. Ah, okay. Uh, well, I don't, I don't, I know. You see what we can do. I mean, in the grammar, uh, you, you, you are talking about the English uh, grammar. No, no, the German grammar. Um, but re uh, very stupid mistakes. You know, not like you forget in. Um, uh, I don't, it, it's, it's okay. I don't want you to say stupid mistake, my friend. The, the, the gentleman who did that voluntarily, I am very thankful for him, and he did his 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 best. Maybe he is not good in, in you know, but he did his best. You know what I mean? No, no, I wanted to say stupid. This was like you know, but there's one sentence written backwards. Hmm. I just I thought you want to make some. Um, okay, if you if you if you like to help, if you like to help. You can mm -hmm. you can make a, a like a, a Microsoft Word uh, uh, file and uh, send us like in the page of etc and etc etc it should be this I will mm -hmm. send it to him and he can correct it or we can you know we can correct it from our side. Okay. My All right. Friend. Like instead of just uh, you know complain about it's you know there is some wrong. I mean what I can do for me I don't speak German as you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm very good in Chinese, you know, and I am I am very good in any language that nobody speak except like I am like Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Even my so, language, I do not know how to write, how to read. <laughs> uh, to my first question, uh, mm. when you showed Elijah and when Amir was also in uh, Skype, <laughs> uh -huh. you you, op you opened a website from Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Is this Ibn Kathir in Arabic the same as in the books, or was it um, the explanation of? Of it. No, this is Ibn Kathir, the same. But in oh. if we go in English, I showed you in English and in in, in Arabic. In English, is gone. There's nothing. They took it oh. off. Yeah, you know, like Ramadan uh, today, cut off your videos. You put video online, cut off something, and um, make it look like you are lying. You know, because my friend, just my friend, five minutes. I noticed okay. something that the Muslims, the more they attack me, the more people they read my books, and this is wonderful. You know, and that's what I told Amir. Let him attack them, me as more. Don't uh, Amir because Amir he get like excited. Look, they are lying, saying they are lying, and I say just laugh, man. This is good. God is good. The more they attack me, the more people read my books, and the more people leave Islam because I prove what I say, and I challenge them if they have the guts. All those who they are from Germany who claim to be Muslims, who they are saying Christian Prince is a liar. Christian Prince is almost online, not not only once a day, sometimes three times a day, and I stay for five six hours. All those six hours, not even one potato from Germany there to call me and say, hey, you are a liar. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. it's the same as what happened with this poor Elijah when he called me. I showed him, but he do not know Arabic. And that uh, that guy, he was saying to him, he was talking to him, why you don't talk to me directly and show him, or, or show everybody from Germany that uh, this is a lie? Cowards. Anyway, my friend. And, I, and, and, and by the way, uh, by the way, <clears throat> uh, they say that this story is weak story, right? They say this story is weak story. No, they say it's not Sahih because uh, Ibn Kathir said that it's Murza, you know. But no, uh, uh, Ibn Kathir, my friend Ibn Kathir, he is defending, no problem. But Ibn Kathir, he confirmed that the Prophet he received satanic verses, who you know. What Ibn Kathir he deny the uh, and if, if, even Ibn Kathir he says many many interpreter they mention this story correct mm -hmm. okay the many interpreter they agree with it if you don't agree this is his business but Ibn Kathir confirming the story because it is there in their books and confirm that Shaitan he throw words in the mouth of Muhammad now why Ibn Kathir did not tell us what is the word Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. Because if you say, if you say, okay, this story is not true, but you, in the same time you say that uh, Shaitan, he throw words. Okay, what is the word? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You have to give us a replacement. Okay, Shaitan, he throw words in the mouth of Muhammad. So what are they, the words, which is a throwing in the mouth of Muhammad? Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? It's written in the original text. It's written, written. With um, the Garanik or how it is spelled, the three daughters of Allah. In the Arabic version. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's written, written. It's written. But I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, 
if if he don't agree if anyone don't agree with something you see look this is the book of asbab al nuzul this is the book of asbab al nuzul it is in english asbab al nuzul is very well known name but muslim book by an imam al wahidi who explained why the verse came down mm -hmm. do, do you see the screen uh it's not the same oh hold on the screen okay hold on i'll put me about the screen sorry all right this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, and this is the official government of uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, sorry, uh, Jordan. It says here, read with me carefully. This is this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. So, if this is a story is a lie, then why all the Muslims they speak about it and they accept it? Read carefully. Allah the Exalted He revealed to him the Surah of Najm by the star where it saith, Surah fifty three. The messenger of Allah, bless him, give him peace, recite it, but when he reach, have though upon Allah al-Uzza and Manat the third, the other, the devil put in his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said. Who is the one now said? Muhammad saying, the mm. mighty Qurans, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is hoped for when Quraysh heard you see the liar the liar uh, the, the potato Ramadan he was saying to Elijah uh, that this is was in his mind and Allah he canceled it before he spoke it but look what has happened here just get them busted when Quraysh heard this they were very pleased they heard this heard what heard him saying that al ulla inna shafa'atuhunna that the three daughters of Allah, the flying daughters of Allah, the mighty daughters of Allah, their intercession is hoped for. When they heard that, they were pleased with this. And then the messenger of Allah, give him peace, carried on reciting until the end of the surah, which means he did not stop. He continued and he put the words about the, the, the daughters of Allah. And then he prostrate, prostrate and all the Muslims prostrate and the idolater too, they protested with him too. Why they agree to prostrate? Because now he mentioned the three daughters of Allah in his prayer. Then look at this. And all those who were present, all those who present, whether Muslims or disbeliever, protest, expect Al Walid ibn al Mughira and uh, 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 Abu Yahya, whatever is uh, Said, because they were simply, they are very old, so they did not, they were not able to, to prostrate. So all the Muslims and non Muslims, they bow down when Muhammad he recited the three daughters of Allah. And read carefully with me here and could not prostrate because they are old in age and then after that they said muhammad has mentioned our idol would uh, 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 complementary terms which mean he praised them we know that allah give lives and take take it away he created provide a, a, a sustenance uh, sustains but these idols of ours are uh, uh, will intercede for us and with him and now Muhammad he associated them we are all with him so now the, the, the and this is the point Muhammad he said that because he want them to join him so now we are we make a decision to accept Muhammad as a prophet because he agree to associate Allah with the three daughters of Allah and because he did that he announced that so we all we will join Muhammad that evening that evening Jibreel, peace be upon him, went to the messenger of Allah, bless him, and give him peace, and said, What you have done, huh? You idiot, Ramazan, Ramazan, what you have done, you idiot, donkey, Ramazan, are you there, Ramazan? The prophet, he said, Prophet Ramazan, he said, What, 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 what I did? He said, You recite to the people which I did not bring to you. From Allah, glorifying is He, and who, and you said, It is not say to you. So, if this is a story is a lie, why here is reported as a true story, even Jibreel coming later? We go to page number two to continue the story. Mm. Mm. The message of Allah gave him peace, felt uh, uh, very saddened, and was greatly scared of Allah, and Allah the excited revealed the verse upon Quraysh, Muhammad, you know, he has regretted 
and he is he mentioned the regarding the status of al idols of al uzza etc so you see here that that uh, 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 that it confirmed the story again and nowhere it says that this is a lie so if a christian prince is lying that's mean you muslims are liars because i am reading the story in front of you here we go this is the end of the two pages speaking about this story where it says that this is a fabrication nowhere it says even that the prophet can became scared the prophet became terrified jibreel came to him and he said to him you strip it what you did what you have done who mm -hmm. can refute that it's obviously and the quran confirm it because the quran says and allah will cancel whatever shaitan he put there he will cancel so he will cancel what okay it is if it is not the three daughters of allah allah will cancel cancel what exactly so they try to resist the proofs and not only that you know we this is ibn kathir here we go this is ibn kathir this is the official government website of the kingdom of saudi arabia let us show the the the, the details of the whip in the top here we go this is Quran.ksu.edu.sa and this is the verse and this is Ibn Kathir and this is page number 338 and the story in the front of us which we cannot find at all in the English translation and this is the problem they are victims of the translate translation like you said before they cannot do that with me my friend i am here to get them busted they cannot do that all right yes we can they they, they cannot uh and if uh, ibn kathir he is saying uh, something he is saying his opinion but as you see the 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 scholars they agree with this story and now the Muslim, they are trying to say, oh, you know, there is someone he did not believe in this story, but it's stay, it's there, the story, even in the book of Ibn Kathir. And not only that, Ibn Kathir, he confirmed that yes, Shaitan he throw in his words, in his mouth. Read with me carefully. كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يصلي عند المقام إذا نعس فألقى الشيطان على لسانه وإن شفاعتهن لترتجى وإنها لمع الغرانيق العلا. So he is saying, Qutada said that the shaitan he throw in the mouth of the Prophet, that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And they are the goddess, the high goddess. This is what it says. And he is not saying here, you know, and he is quoting he's quoting a story after a story but if we go in the english we don't find the story where is this story it's gone what about the story after it look how many reporters they are reporting the same the muslim they say to us that if a story reported by many companions then the story must be true so how a story reported by many became false and this is why we see in the other interpretation it says it clearly that none of them he says we deny it mm. look all of this look in the english in the english book all of this is gone all of this I... is gone we cannot find it yes and that's the problem not only that they said that the hadith about muhammad he killed a man because of his jealousy right and they said this hadith is weak don't they say that? Uh, I don't know the story, but um, yeah, anyway. yeah. But the story, you know, we found it in uh, in uh, uh, Alibani. Ramadan himself once he made a video trying to prove me wrong, and he said Al Alibani. He said that this hadith is weak. Correct? You remember? His video is there. The stupid himself he cannot deny it. So. He said, uh, uh, Al Alabani, uh, 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 he said that this hadith is weak. But Al Alabani, in this hadith, that uh, he was talking about different hadith, Al Alabani, he, he confirmed that this hadith is strong. And he said, This is Sahih. So they are 
in deep garbage and they do not know what to do how we can escape the madness of Muhammad they cannot as simple as that can they I don't think so <laughs> you know and here we go yeah. you see they say to me that this hadith is not in Sahih al-Bukhari they are donkeys they do not know what I'm talking about maybe in the in the translation he did not make it clear but it is clear for me it says here Fathul Bari fi Sharhi Sahih al-Bukhari I wrote as it is in there in there in their reference Al-Kutub Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih al-Bukhari let me highlight for those who they are blind so where the story is coming from it is from Sahih al-Bukhari but the interpretation of Sahih al-Bukhari and here it says clearly that Muhammad he ordered the man to be killed and why he said to him that you know when he said to him do you think there's nobody better than you so what Muhammad problem with this guy is because the people they were saying that he is amazing he is so good he's very nice he pray a lot so the Muslims they were praising this guy and Muhammad he was upset from that because he found that this is really a problem. This is guy is a competition with him. This is the book of Sahih al Alabani. Hadith number 2495. It says here, Sahih. So, how they say that this story is a lie, and Alabani he said, Sahih. That's mean Alabani, which the same Abdul Ramazan he's used with me, supposed to prove me wrong sometime when he wish. It is the same Imam who says that this story is Sahih. Uh, Alabani is on the same level as in Kathir. My friend, all of them they are trash. All of them they are garbage. There is nothing is called Sahih. There is nothing is called weak. This is some something the Muslim they try to. You see, it's depend in the person. The person he try that uh, if he find that this is embarrassing, he say this is Sahih. If he find that this is not embarrassing, we say he say like if it's embarrassing, we say this is weak. If it's not embarrassing, we say this is Sahih. Anything will make Muhammad look stupid. They will say it is not Sahih. But this is depend on how you know, like uh, uh, in the person, the person himself, if he find it offending, even Ibn Ishaq, when he collected tons of his stories about the biography of Muhammad, he said from the beginning any story which is not fit with the prophet we throw it out who are you to throw it out what if it's true so he became the judge of what fit what not fit whatever make muhammad look ugly we go we are going to take it and throw it away mm -hmm. all right my friend and here mm -hmm. we go this is a story in front of us and it says sahih this is let me zoom in here we go وَإِسْنَادَهُ صَحِيحُ عَلَى شَرْطِ مُسْلِمْ He says, and this is, and the isnad is sahih, as in the condition of Muslim. He's saying why he considered that story is sahih. Because this is isnadahu sahih. The isnad is right. The, the chain of narration is sahih. According to the, uh, the condition of Muslim, which means the condition of sahih Muslim or imam Muslim. And here he says, hadith number, let me be sure that it's appearing in the screen. Hadith number 2495. I'm going to post it in the chat and I challenge any Muslim to tell me I'm lying. How you can say so? How it is Sahih if it's a lie? <laughs> Al Alabani, he worked for me. Here we go. I am going to copy the link and I will post it in the text in the chat. Any Muslim is watching, any Muslim is listening, any Muslim he hear me, any Muslim have ears. He can open the link and he can read it and he can let me what's going on. They are ashamed of their prophet and this is the whole idea. Anything else, my friend? Uh, no, it's enough. But I would love to uh, see, uh, watch <laughs> debate with you, with Ramazan. But I don't know how to make this. My friend, who is Ramadan? Ramadan, even he will not be able to debate my toes. Here we go. I'm here. They will. He will. Not, he will not even get close to me because he knew that he is going to be smashed with no mercy. This is why yeah, they avoid well, me, my, my friend. My problem is that uh, when you look at the commentary on YouTube on the videos, the German Muslims they are like on on hijab debate. You know, they clapping and whoa, you are so great, but. 
he is lying, you know, and he's, I follow your videos, I know that you don't lie, but I know that he is lying. And um, the people believe him, you know. I would love to see no no my friend they don't believe they don't believe anyone the Muslims as I said they support you just because you are a Muslim because I am a Muslim and you are defending the Prophet so what, what do you expect here we go how they can believe him here we go. the hadith in front of me it says Sahih you tell me mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> it's in the front of us it's in the screen how they believe him that means that that me al Alabani is a liar mm -hmm. And how this guy himself he used Al Alabani in his videos sometimes supposed he to refute me. Mm -hmm. And I agree, Al Alabani is a liar, the same as Muhammad is a liar, the same as Allah is a liar, the same as Ramazan is a liar. All of them they are liars. But if you Muslims are a bunch of liars, it's not my fault. Yeah, my friend. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Very my much. friend. And take care. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. Uh, somebody, one of you, he sent me a video of uh, Sam Shamoon. He was with David Wood. One of you, he asked, "What do you think about uh, Christian Prince? How he how he deal with Muslims?" He said to them, "Don't miss, don't don't miss with the Christian Prince." <laughs> Hello. No, 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 Oh man, this is amazing. Can you say it again? Where do you go? Let me call you back. I want you to sing it for us. Where you go? <laughs> answer, answer. I want you to say it again. <laughs> He's not answering. The devil is angry. La 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 and the hummus adullah. I like hummus. Stupid coward. He don't you don't want to talk again? La ilaha illallah? Huh? What about you answer us about al Alabani getting your prophet busted, killing a man who did nothing except he is an innocent man and he is praying too much? Hmm? La la ha la la ha? No potato but potato? No potato, but potato. No potato. Take beer, take a beer, take a beer. No potato, but potato. You want to debate Christian Prince? Please try. Please. I beg you. I beg you, burden. <laughs> You know, all of them, they have a big mouth saying a Christian prince is a liar, but they don't dare to call me and to show me how this is a lie. And as you see, your scholars, they agree. Now we go back to our topic. Allah, he made a threat. I apologize. We have to go out of the topic to answer this gentleman who called us from Germany. If Allah is a true God, and he made a threat if we don't believe in him and this is an immediate threat if you don't believe now I am going to destroy the details of your face the same as I did to those who broke the Sabbath and here we find something stupid anyone notice with me something about the Sabbath just to give you a hint who noticed with me there is something wrong here with the Sabbath story? Those who broke the Sabbath, what Allah he did to them? He transformed them into apes, pigs, and monkeys. Correct? Okay. What is the problem with this story? Anyone notice? What is the problem? <clears throat> if Allah is telling a true story that the one who broke the Sabbath Allah transformed them into apes and monkeys why Allah is not transforming the Jews who they are breaking the Sabbath now do you know that the Jews in Israel and when I say the Jews I mean you know the Israeli like the, the, there's some of them even they are atheists they don't care for God however but still they are from the children of Israel 
according to Islam they even celebrate the gay festival in Sabbath in Tel Aviv so Allah he did curse a bunch of fishermen who just are trying to eat and Allah he made the fish disappear all the week from in front of them as the story says and he is not willing to make the ones who do festival of gays and lesbian in Tel Aviv in the Sabbath from the children of Israel into pigs and monkeys how stupid this story is hmm? how stupid literally this story is you have to be a certified donkey to believe really you see Look at this. We debate atheists. Atheists try to prove to us that a human was an ape and he became a human. Muslim, they debate with us trying to prove to us that ape, they was they were a human. But both are donkeys. Garbage in, garbage out. What I can say. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. <clears throat> Chapter 2 verse number 65 it says do you know that those who broke the Sabbath Allah he made them pigs and monkeys Chapter 7 verse 106 it says exactly the same All right The same If we go here <laughs> I would like to see a Muslim calling me please if you are proud about your Quran I really really I would like to see you calling and say to us that you are really proud hmm? who was the Muslim I do that <clears throat> he will say to me Allahu Akbar hello oh, here we go this is what the Muslims can do. This is a Muslim as she is giving birth from the wrong from the wrong location. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? All those stories in the front of us is garbage. Anyone? Hello? It is me you are looking for? Any Abdul? Hmm. hmm. Let us go here and see this funny story. Ask them concerning the town standing close to the sea behold i like it when the muslim they use the behold trying to make the quran look like elegant behold they transgressed in the matter of the sabbath for one day of their sabbath their fish come to them openly holding up their heads and the fish says what uh, 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 i'm a fish it is sabbath you cannot fish me uh, 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 uh. the head of the fish is coming out of the water openly only in the sabbath and this is was a trial from allah which means Allah, he decide he will make the fish come only in the Sabbath. He forbid the Jews to work in Sabbath and they are fishermen. But he will not let the fish in the sea during the whole week. But in Sabbath, the fish come 
in the front of the beach they walk with the bikini i am a fish you cannot fish me you are a jew you cannot hold me because allah he protected me today it is saturday you cannot touch me takbir what a stupid cult this is god so sabbath is made to do this god is playing games with those people he told them okay sabbath is haram it's you cannot do anything in the sabbath but then he made the fish come to them in the sabbath only and the fish walk in the the beach says i wonder how i wonder why the jews cannot even say to me hello or bye because all what i can see Jews are scared of me. They cannot catch me. They cannot touch me because today it is Sabbath for them. And that is good really for me. I wonder how, I wonder why. Quran, takbir, takbir, wisdom. That is wisdom, my friend. It's it, it, If you ask a fish, if the CNN, they have an interview with the fish at that day, Saturday, you see the fish will say to you, the CNN will say, how come you are a fish and you are in the beach? Aren't you scared that they will catch you, the fishermen there? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse my French, you are ignorant. Today is Sabbath, they cannot do it. <laughs> but, but they are so angry, they cannot, you know, they might lose their mind and <laughs> they cannot, they are Jews. <laughs> If they do that, Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. <laughs> look at that guy there. Look, look, he's looking at me. His mouth is coming up and his tongue is coming out. He's so angry, but he cannot touch me because today is Sabbath. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm? Are you going to shout Allahu Akbar? Say Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Wow. <laughs> I know it <laughs> and look what he called himself this is the Dean show this is the Dean show the Dean show oh, man the, the best Dean show my friend is here the best Dean show is here you are live in the Dean show this is the Dean show I'm showing the whole world how stupid your Dean the word Dean mean religion by the way Allahu Akbar and you notice that he is like a giving birth a lot of pain there refute me Show me, answer me, silence me. Hey, David Wood, silence me, answer me, show me. Hello, now to see how the story go more in details with the stupidity let us go to the interpretation of the story and show you how stupid those stories are chapter 7 again chapter 7 see 7 verse number 163 all right let us go there oh boy stupidity is amazing I suppose like he made a victory to Allah now. Everybody is, you are making fun of your God, my friend. Everybody is laughing. Okay, this is the interpretation. What they will say, Christian Prince is lying to you. Read and laugh. And question them, Muhammad. Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, please question them. In rebuke about the city that was by the sea, bordering the Red Sea. Oh, hold on, hold on. The Bini, the children of Israel, they were in the Red Sea. Oh, okay, that's that makes sense. In the Red Sea. Hmm. That's mean that Israel should be in the Red Sea. And that means when the Muslim they say that Ilat, which is exists today, it is really the land of the Jews. Thank you very much. Read with me carefully. Bahar al 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 Kulzum. And this is was Ilat about what befall of the its inhibit inhabitants. 
how they would transgress violate the Sabbath by fishing which they had been commanded not to do on that day how how I wonder how I wonder why they would transgress their fish would come to them on the day of their Sabbath floating floating by the way I saw a girl she was a floating in the beach I wasn't sure that was a fish or not because she, she sound fishy for me I mean I was in the side of the beach and she was looking at me I think she thought I am a Jew and she thought she is a fish and it was Sabbath what a coincidence mean I'm just going back in my more memory now I did not notice at that day she was floating in the beach in the water looking at me I look at her and she was really fishy in the way she look which make her obviously she is a fish and it was Sabbath and I cannot catch her mean by the way the story I just told you in Sahir Bukhari <laughs> and they would transgress and their fish would come to them in the day of the Sabbath floating at the surface visible at the surface of the water but on the day they did not observe the Sabbath which means it's not Sabbath when they would try to do like to fish the, the, the fish does not come and that would be a trial from God what you want to say to me Allah Akbar again say it go ahead this guy want to say Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Go ahead. <laughs> he did not say it because I, I get him busted. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Allahu Akbar. Do you know why they say Allahu Akbar? Because Muhammad he said that the infidels when they hear Allahu Akbar they get scared. Do you see how much I'm scared? Hmm. All right. Thus, we were trying them with their wickedness. I mean, they are the wickedness, or Allah is the wicked. How those poor people they will survive? They are fishermen, and you say to them, "Don't fish in Saturday," and then you make the fish come to them in that same day, which they cannot fish in, and the fish disappear in the whole week. Hmm? We changed the translation, sorry, the interpretation. This is Ibn Abbas. Ask them, ask him the Jews, O Muhammad, of the township, about the story of the township called Ailah that was by the sea. How? How they did break the Sabbath. They used to transgress. On the Sabbath by taking the fish how how their big fish come into them visibly scores and scores of them from the deep inside up to the shore upon their Sabbath day on the day when they did not keep the Sabbath come to them into them man what a drama Actually, a drama become more exciting if we go to Ibn Kathir. Let us go there. I mean, why we want to miss Ibn Kathir, my friend? Let us go to Ibn Kathir, the one who defend Islam always. Hmm? This is Ibn Kathir. Chapter 7, verse number 163. The Jews, the Jews transgress the Sabbath. I mean, that's really horrible. I mean, I'm so glad I was not a Jew at that time. Ask them, ask them who are with you about the story of their fellow Jews who defied Allah's command. So he's punished them 
overtook them all of a sudden of their evil action what is the evil action fishing in Saturday to feed their children that is an evil action okay Muslims I have a question for you why Allah did not keep the Sabbath for the Abdul as long as the Sabbath is so important to Allah what happened Allah he changed his day of the if of of of, uh, of holiday let us go Zakir Naik and ask him what happened Hello, I told you one million times. Don't call me. I'm sick of you. You know what? I'm going to leave Islam. Please just let me alone. I'm going to change my name. I'm going to change my religion. I'm going to convert and become a Buddha. Just leave me alone. Uh, uh, brother Zach and Naik, take it easy, man. I just have a question for you. I mean, you do not need to leave Islam and you know change your name. And uh, I mean, uh, it's, uh, take it easy. It's just a question. Are you sorry, Zach? Then you never ask me a question. All your question is crazy, and you are crazy, and you are making me crazy, and all of them are crazy. Uh, okay, brother. How Allah He cursed the Jews just for fishing in Saturday, but Allah will not curse a Jew for raping a woman. This is a very good question. Actually, you got me busted. I have to admit. Go to the second question. How come Allah will make the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing on Saturday, but he will not make a Jew pig and monkey for raping a child? That is a good point. Go to the third question. Uh, why Allah will make a Jew pig and monkey for fishing on Saturday, but he will not make the Jews today pigs and monkeys for celebrating gays and lesbian festival in Saturday. That is a very good point too. Go to verse number four. How come Allah, he did not make you a pig and monkey when you are saying stupid things about his book? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Thank you very much. I have to go now. Thank you. This is a religion? Are you sure? Are you sure? And look guys, when their fish, when their fish come to them openly in the Sabbath, visible in the top of the water, like the girl I told you about. According to Abu Dhaq, who reported from Ibn Abbas, from Ibn Juraj, said, And the day when it is not Sabbath, their fish come to them. Thus we have made a trial for them. This is Allah trap. You see Allah how nice he is? He told them not to fish in Saturday, but he made the fish come only in Saturday. And those are fishermen. Do we have any Abdul? He is. Uh... Show me. Silence me. Answer me. Brother, brother, brother Muhammad, each time I remember you saying that, I imagine you like a bleed dancer in the stage. Show me. Ah, answer me. Ah, what is that, man? Are you what is and he's moving his fingers like show me? Do you remember his fingers? Show me, like, like come here, show me, show <laughs> where are you to show me, Abdul? I am here. Why the Muslims are not calling me to show me? Shushu, a shushu religion. Who is the stupid you want to believe in such a story? By the way, Muhammad, he is very genius. He discovered too that Allah, he made the Jews rats. Yes, yes, he made them rats. Mm -hmm. Read with me. <clears throat> he
here you notice how Muhammad is really a person who obviously is a scientist too you guys what they call the scientists who have a specialty in uh, in animal what they call him what what is the word for for any uh, scientists who they are who study animals somebody give me the word you know my English you know is since I saw the fish who was floating in the water I forgot my English what they call them <coughs> none of you speak good English like me I'm the only one here speak good English unbelievable so Muhammad Muhammad zoologist zolo zoologist don't tell me that he is from the Zolo tribe in Africa. Uh, he is not. Those are nice people. Zolo Zist. Okay, I, I need like two weeks to learn how to say it. Zolo or Zist. Like, hold on, I'm an Arab man. Don't don't, don't make it hard. Okay, okay, can you give me an, an easier word? I mean, why? Why? In the, I am an Arab. We do not know how to write, how to read. And look what you are giving me. Zulu Is that correct? Is that correct? Zulu Takbir, it's correct, unbelievable. How I made it? Zoologist, zoologist. I mean, English is really funny. Okay, I will take the last part, and you, 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 you are the one who pronounced the first, uh, first uh, part of it. I, I will say ologist, and you say Zulu, Zulu and Olu. Okay, no problem. Now the prophet said a group of Israelists were lost. Me sit down, sit down, guys. Sit down. The prophet he will tell us information which the people of Zulu, Zulu just they did not notice ever. Only the prophet, how the prophet 1400 years ago he discovered this. Read with me carefully. Unbelievable. Hmm. When I read this, guys, my body is like I am being shot by electricity. Mashallah. Mashallah. I don't know if you feel it too. Read. The prophet he said, a group of Israelists were lost. Mm, they are lost. A group. No, no, don't call me, my friend. Don't call me. I have uh, finished the topic. What uh, we're talking about Zolo list now. Zolo Lolo Zozest. Why are you calling me? You want to disturb me now? You want Allah to curse you and make you a monkey? I know, I know someone. He insulted Allah Prophet. He woke up in the morning. He looked like a Christian prince. You believe it? True story. In the morning, he was a very handsome man. Don't call me now. Don't call me. Hold on. In the morning, this person, this is a true story. In the morning, he was a very handsome man. He said something wrong about Allah and the Prophet. Guess what, brother? He woke up in the morning and he looked like a Christian prince. Why you are calling me, my friend? Why you keep calling me? Hello? 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 Okay. Yeah, I know what to do. Don't call me. Don't call me now. I feel sorry for that guy. I mean, you say something wrong about Allah and you look like Christian prince now. And this is additional proof that Allah is a true God. Now here. Oh, they will not let me talk. Hello? Hallelujah. Ah, okay, can you say it again? Say okay, okay, okay. Say it again. Say it again. Okay. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Where are you from, my friend? Open your mouth. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Honestly, guys. Honestly, be honest with me. Isn't it? This is the best comedy show ever you have. Be honest with me. Can you find better in the cable TV if you open the cable right now? Are you going to find something more funny than this? No way. It's impossible, brother. It's impossible. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. So, anyway, 
the prophet said and please show respect silence silence everybody the prophet said are you stupid or what when the prophet said everybody stop talking a group of Israelis were lost nobody knows nobody knows and this is what is killing me Muhammad for the sake of Allah Shin how nobody knows but you know you just said nobody knows I mean who is the stupid here nobody knows nobody knows nobody know nobody know nobody know nobody da -da -da, nobody nobody know nobody know nobody know nobody nobody know nobody know nobody know nobody as long you do not know and nobody know so why and how you can continue with the story what a mysterious man wow astonishing intelligence so nobody knows what they did me that is really messed up brother we do not know what they did hey brother what do you think they did i don't know brother but i'm very sure that nobody knows what they did brother do you think the prophet he knew what they did brother you are acting like a donkey at the correct imprint or with say the prophet said nobody knows it means nobody including him brother so if the prophet do not know nobody that means nobody are you accusing the prophet to be lying okay brother if the prophet he said nobody knows so how the prophet is coming to the conclusion of he is knowing what do you mean brother because if we read the story you see the prophet he knew ah you get the point here <sighs> All right, <clears throat> and here, Muhammad, you will notice the other side of Muhammad, the deep thinker. The what? The deep, deep thinker, not like Christian Prince. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Look what happened, but I do not see them. But I do not see them except they were cursed. Oof, 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 oof. Mean. How good the conclusion. But I do not see them, but they are cursed, except they are cursed. And changed into rats. What? Rats? Mickey Mouse? The Jews, they became Mickey Mouse. What a sad day. Brother Jack Shalom, I really apologize from you because two years ago, I killed one of your people in my kitchen. Brother, I don't know. At that time, I do not know. How I know I'm killing a Jew? I thought it's a rat, but it turned to be a Jew. Now they will accuse me to be a Nazi. They will accuse me that I was working with Hitler. I will be arrested. Hey guys, uh, I have to go because I want to hide my the crime because I throw that rat in the backyard of mine. I'm sure now somebody is calling the FBI immediately and I have to hide the evidence. I mean, look at this deep deep thinker prophet and by the way this is Sahih al-Bukhari don't tell me this is a weak hadith eh? this is Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih al-Bukhari I love you a lot Sahih bukhari very beautiful I, I see a cat Honest, honest to God, I see a cat in the front of my window. I just said a rat and the cat is coming. Here we go. And now we knew who is the enemy of the Jews. It is the, the cat. It's a big white cat right away. Honest to, honest to my Lord, I'm not, I'm not lying. The cat is just coming. I never saw this cat coming here. Why this cat is coming here? Huh? It's a miracle. I just said rats. We have the cat. Me. Allah is all powerful.
Now, shall we continue the story? Hmm. Shall we? So Muhammad here is using his only amazing logic, unique logic in the world. Deep thinker. What the philosopher. Aflatone. He should be your student. You are the guru of logic and meditation. I think Muhammad, he, when he came with this conclusion, he was practicing the yoga. This is a yoga result. This is what happened to you when you do yoga. Me. Let us continue the story. So I did not see them except they were cursed and changed into rats. Four men. Here he, he here is the kill. Here now is the kill. He will tell us why and what is the reason. And you see the prophet, he doesn't say things without explaining why. This is scientific. He did not say just they are rats. No, he want to tell you four. The reasoning. Look at this. For if you put the milk of a she camel in the front of a rat it will not it will not drink it but if the milk of a sheep is put in the front of it it will drink it man oh man that is genius that is genius <sighs> Hmm. So based in the logic of a prophet Muhammad If we put beer In the front of a rat And the, the, the rat that drank it Did not drink beer That means the rat is a Muslim If we put vodka in the front of a donkey and the donkey refused to drink the vodka. Does that mean he's a Muslim? The Prophet of Allah here, he is using his special intellect and a very high IQ. Super, super IQ. Brother, obviously, Muhammad, he have in his house a rat who is an Orthodox Jew, not a normal Jew. Isn't it obvious? Be honest with me. This is a rat who is like he, now he became a rat. Allah, he cursed him, but yet still he is going to keep the orthodox teaching. So beautiful. I'm really, really touched and inspired. Muhammad is the best. And forget about the rest. It's not easy, my friend. It's not easy to be a prophet. And it's impossible to be like Muhammad. Who can beat this logic and science? I'm very thankful for this rat who is keeping all the orders of Allah, even though he became a rat. Hmm. But brother, I have a question. As long the Jews are forbidden to drink the she camel milk, and they are decent to obey even when they are rats, why Muhammad is not obeying Allah not to drink the she camel milk? Hmm? The Jews, they cannot eat or drink. They cannot eat the meat of the camel. 
they cannot drink the she camel milk and Muhammad he knew that and because of that he knew that this is the order of Allah was given to them supposedly so why Muhammad drinking the she camel and eating the camel if he is following the same God of the Jews who forbid the Jews from doing that any Abdul in the bushes can tell us please Hmm. Any Muslim in different hadith, Muhammad he claimed that the Jews they become lizard. Yes, lizard. How Muhammad he noticed that they are lizard? Anyone knows? Who who remember? Because Muhammad he noticed that the lizard have five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. I mean, this guy is super intelligent, man. And you are telling me that Muhammad is not a prophet. How you can say that? How even you can even think about it? I mean, I advise you to convert to Islam right now, right here before it's too late. Because remember, Allah He said, if you don't convert to Islam right now, Allah will make, will erase your eyebrows. I'm sure there's many women they will like this idea and they will refuse to convert to Islam just for that. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Hello. Look like the Muslims today is so quiet and they are Okay, Raja, call me. What do you want to say, Raja? Call me. <laughs> yes, my friend. Uh, hello, brother. Welcome. I have, a, have a, I have one question, brother. All right. Uh, uh, Muslims often accuse that uh, in Bible, uh, where did Jesus said that I am God? and worship me okay hmm. uh, but i have one uh, question to them hmm. if jesus uh, is really a truly a man then why did he accept it for the worship and also when thomas said my lord and my god why did jesus did not rebuke thomas when when he's a true prophet if uh, from the muslim perspective jesus is the true prophet that means if thomas uh, confesses Jesus is my Lord, or Kurios Matthias Kai, my Lord and my God. Why didn't Jesus rebuke, did not rebuke uh, Thomas? So uh, that's the, the question that I, uh, I have in my mind. If Muslim claims that Jesus is only the prophet, mm. and if, when Jesus knows his the Torah and Angel very well, then he should have rebuked his disciple for worshiping mm. and call him in God. So, brother, can you tell me, uh, is, since that they only worship Allah, but I know in certain uh, hadiths or in, I think in Quran also, where even the Muhammad is made equal with Allah, means unless or until you believe, unless you put faith in Muhammad, you mm -hmm. cannot be a true Muslim. Right, my brother? 
All right, thank you very much. I will answer about that. No so, problem. So yeah, please yeah. answer to me that because I know a Muslim cannot be Muslim unless and until they give equal respect. What respect they give to to mm. Allah? So please right. clarify in this point, brother. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother. We will show them. I, I do not need to quote tons of uh, reference. Just one statement of Jesus is enough. When Jesus in Matthew, we can go to Matthew twenty-two. When Jesus he asked the Jews, he said to them, "What do you say of a Christ? What do you say of Christ?" They said he is the son of David. All right, what do you say of Christ? He is the son of David. <clears throat> Then Jesus said to them, Well, he if, if he is the son of David, then how David he says, The Lord said to my Lord, and here by the way, you're reading translation, but in the accurate uh, word, my Lord Jehovah. If Jesus saying to the Jews, debating the Jews about who is a Christ, and saying that David, who is a king. He is the highest authority. He is the best man ever the Jews have as a king. They are so proud of him. Jesus saying to them, quoting from the Old Testament, don't call me please until I finish the topic. If just he is the son of David, as you are saying, he is a son of David, then how David he call him my Lord? Let me show you the verses. I was just looking for a better accurate translation so we can read together. But when the Pharisees heard that, he had silence, etc., etc., and then he says, Teacher which commanded the written law is the greatest. Yeshua said to him, You shall love the Lord Jehovah, your God. This is the greatest command. Then, notice here with me that Jesus said, Your Lord Yeshua, he said, Your Lord. Jehovah don't call me my friend don't call me don't call me what's wrong with people what's wrong with people should I exit Skype let me exit here we go So you shall love the Lord Jehovah, your God, from your heart, from all your soul. And then he said to them, after, after he told them the commands. But as the Pharisees was assembled, Yeshua asked them, and he said, what are you saying about the Messiah, the Messiah, who is son is he? They were saying to him, the son of David, he said, who he, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ. And how David, by the Spirit, called him the Lord Jehovah, for he said do you see it guys the Lord Jehovah for he said the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet 
if therefore called him if if if, if therefore David called him the Lord Jehovah how he is his son and the funny Abduls they are copy paste they say to us where Jesus said I am God worship me they ask him what is the greatest command the greatest command is to love your Lord Jehovah your God and who is your God the Messiah the Christ do we need more reference no we don't I will give you the link of the translation this is the Aramaic this is English uh, translation of the Aramaic in plain English in plain English all right I will share the link with you in a second same time I don't know how many of you watching my watch my video last yesterday we showed the Abdul that Jesus he created according to Muslims the children of Noah he resurrected them from death which means he is a creator the Quran confirmed that Jesus he created from the mud the bird and he resurrect people from the death and he tell you what you hide in your heart in your heart or in your mind or in your homes and the Quran says it clearly that nobody know that save God nobody knows that save God and the irony is that we are debating about Jesus if he is God and we are debating about Muhammad if he is a child molester <laughs> you know what I mean do you see the difference Jesus is so good to the point we are debating about him how perfect he is to the point he is God and Muhammad is so bad to the point we are debating about him as a thief as a criminal as a killer as a child molester as a liar what do you say of that and where is Jesus right now he is in heaven he is in heaven why every human being is down on earth dead dust in the darkness of the sand yet the messiah is alive for thousands of years and not only that the one who will accomplish everything is the messiah even in the cult of islam it's like watching a movie and then you say to me that the the hero of the movie is the guy who killed in the beginning by poison and Jesus is not the hero but he is the one who is going to come back kill the devil destroy everything against God and bring victory and yet you want to say to me that Muhammad is the hero of the movie what a nice drama hmm? The Quran actually confirm that the Muslims they do not reject Jesus because Jesus is not accepted to be son of God actually the Quran says well if Allah he have a son you should worship him let me show you the verses which mean all what the problem is Muhammad he said he don't have a son and because of that we will not accept it's not because this is not logical or not right say if Allah the most gracious had a son I would be the first to worship do you see it so what the problem the problem is Muhammad he don't like this idea just because Muhammad he said that so it's possible for a Muslim to worship the son of God if God has a son and by the way the Muslim they think when we say the son of God we think they think that we are thinking or we are saying that God have a baby uh, a boy his name is Jesus <laughs> my friend we don't believe in that 
the Son of God is God himself who came to us in the flesh of a man is not is not a baby son of God God did not have a wife and this is why you see the stupid maker of the Quran he tried to fix it he make it a blind so he come with the logic saying how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend but who is the one who believed that Allah have a girlfriend it is you the Arab Muslims who believe in that and this is why you Arab Muslims believe that Allah have three daughters which are from the conception of Allah having sex with the Sun God the moon God Allah had sex with them with the six with the with the Sun God and they have three daughters they are Allah al Uzza and Manat with the rest of the Ukhra hmm? Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Actually, the Quran said in different verse. That if Allah, he wanted to have uh, a partner, he will take it from his kind. What is the kind of Allah? You see, I can choose any verse in the Quran and I will show you how stupid this book is. In chapter 21, verse number 17, it says the following. If I had been our, if it had been our wish to take just a pastime, and by the way here, the pastime is not a good translation because it's funny, what pastime? Allah will take pastime? What Allah will go to this club, I will have some break. The word here, lahu, mean women. The Arab they call women lahu, which means fun. Fun, and we can show you that from the interpretation. If we would like to take a woman as a partner for fun, for sex. We will take it from our kind. Okay, hold on. The Muslim translation, they say, from the nearest things to us. I mean, this is the most stupid, false translation ever. What nearest things to us? It says that. Let us go to the interpretation and get them busted. Actually, if we change the translation, you will see how the translation, just change the translator, you will, you will find out how right away we, we Muslims are lying. Which translation we should go to? Ahmad Mirza Khan, Raza Khan, whatever. I don't know. I never heard this guy before. You see how the translation changed? If we willed to choose a woman pastime, we could have chosen it from ourself. Okay, hold on. How Allah want to take a partner from ourself if he is one? People, are you listening? Are we listening? How Allah will take a partner from ourselves if He is one? <laughs> Ourself. They keep saying to us that Allah, when we say, when Allah He say we we we, it is us. They say Allah He speak about Himself in a plural name because simply He is majestic. Which is very silly because God do not need to be equal to majestic kings. He is higher than that. So either you are a person who the same as the Jews and the Christians, they say Elohim, which is a plural word used for God, or you have more than one God, and this is proven here. Allah will take a partner from ourself. Who is the ourself? Turn Skype on, okay, my friend. I will turn Skype on just for you, just for you. I mean, look, look, you see how nice I am, guys. Have you ever seen a nice person more than a Christian prince with the Muslims? Be honest with me, just for you. Here we go. I will go to the applications. Okay, I click at Skype. 
Okay, call me now. Mr. Tawheed. <coughs> I said I'm going to be there only for 30 minutes. I'm very well. But they will go. I will stay here maybe for 15, 20 minutes more. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello. Yes, my friend, I hear you. Can you mute the TV, please? Or radio behind you? Go I ahead. don't hear you. Why? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I will call you back. Hold on. I think uh, each time I restart my uh, Skype, the microphone switch. Okay. <clears throat> Let me call you back. Yes, my friend, you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. All right, you are, a Muslim? you are a Muslim? Sorry. <coughs> yes, alhamdulillah. All right, what do you think about Allah? He says he will take partner with himself. Uh, let, let, let me talk me uh, three minutes, okay? No problem, go ahead. Okay. God has a son. Go what? Right? God has a son. God having a son. Your God have a son? No, nah, you said. No, I God don't. Have no, son. where it says that? Where? You said uh, God is, uh, is the son? God himself, he came to us, and we call him the son of God. That's mean God himself, he came to us in the form of a man. Uh, what does it mean? Cat has kitten? That's mean God. Said. That's mean God. He took a form of a man. <laughs> let me let me answer, explain to you. You want, you want me to explain, or you want to just uh, you know, talk to yourself? God himself, he came to us in a form of a man. As simple as that. What's your problem? If Jesus were God, as you as you said, after he was re <coughs> resurrected, where is he? Where is he now? Mm, according he, to, according he, to Allah, he, according to Allah, is in, is in heaven. Where is where is Allah now? Allah is a mysterious. He's mysterious. So you know nothing, nothing about your God, but you worship him. I just believe. Uh, I, I just believe it. Okay. Where is where is Jesus now? According to Islam, he's a prophet. Where is he now? Where is he? You are the one who asked me what is where is the Messiah now? Where is the Messiah now according to Islam? He is a Jannah. You mean heaven, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Why he is in heaven? Because he's a prophet. All prophets are in the heaven. That's a big fat lie. I challenge you to show me the proof that all prophets are in heaven. Okay, later, later. No, not later. Now, isn't it your prophet he said that I will be the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment? Let, let talk later, later. No, no, not later, not later. You see, I don't do later thing. I don't say later. No, no, no. You know, we are we don't do later here. This is this is not our what we do. So your prophet he said he will be the first one to be resurrected in the day of judgment. So how he will be the first one to be resurrected, but you just said all the prophets in heaven. But are but you, you but, my friend? Are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Show respect, please. Are you accusing are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? Please show respect. Don't say that. You you said Jesus was killed. My friend, you and just said to me, so, don't change the topic. Oh, you said be, to me, be. all a prophet, all a prophet in heaven. That is a big fat lie because your prophet said that he will be the first to be resurrected. Why are you are lying to me? We will, we will tell you that. Later, what? Why later? Why? What? 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 Why later? Because I, I will read it later about it. Uh, uh, okay, let us go now here. The verse in the front of us in chapter twenty-one. My brother, chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen. It says that Allah He will take a partner from Himself. How Allah will take a partner with Himself? I don't understand again. Well, the chapter 21, do you speak Arabic? No. Okay, I don't speak Arabic too. So now we are two. I speak Chinese. It says here, if we willed to choose a past time, past time, we could have chosen it from ourself. Allah will choose a partner from ourself. Who is ourself to choose partner with? Allah will partner with who? Which is from ourself. Right, and, and which verse? Chapter 21, verse number 17. Right. <coughs> 20, 21? 21, 
17. Uh -huh. 17. Wait, mm. I'll read it. Mm. <coughs> I like you, by the way. 17, 17. Yeah, 17 is the number come before 18. And then after before 17, there's 16. In Surah al Anbiya, right? So you speak Arabic? No. How then how you say how you pronounce Anbiya if you do not know Arabic? I read in German. Uh -huh. In German, they make you pronounce the word correctly. Al Anbiya. You can you can you can say it the you can say the letter Hamza in German. I never heard that German they have a letter Hamza. You just said I heard you saying Al Anbiya. You speak I Arabic. Can, Come on, you no, speak Arabic. Okay, I'm no from problem. Pakistan. I'm not. I'm I not are from Pakistan. I'm from Pakistan too, Pakistan. my friend. I am from I'm from Lahore. I'm from Lahore in Brazil. Okay, now read for me, brother. If we will to choose a pastime, we could have it chosen it from ourselves. How that happen? You read another. Here's another. Huh? Show me. Show me the screen, right? I'm showing the Wait. screen guys. Don't you see the screen? Is the screen showing or not? Yeah, the screen is showing. It's very clear. It's big and clear and shiny mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Allah will take partners with who I thought Allah will never take a partner and he have no partner And now he will take a partner with ourselves. how Allah is one but he says ourselves. You have not the right I think I have what? Not the right surah, uh, surah. Not the right surah. What do you mean? This is chapter one, verse number seventeen. I'm showing you on the screen. This is Quran. Uh, uh, this is Islamic website. Surah twenty one, right? Surah twenty one, verse number seventeen, my friend. <clears throat> I can't understand it. Sorry. I know you can't understand. You know, this is obviously you have to leave Islam now because Allah is saying that He is many, many Allah, and He will take a partner with other Allah. And this, in this case, it's a female Allah. Who is the female Allah? Is going Allah going to have partner with her? But, uh, but, uh, but if uh, I, I will. Uh, Tell you later. Not yeah. now when uh, uh, others. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, is is it okay if if we go to the interpretation, my friend? Can we go to the interpretation? See what the interpretation is saying. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. I will put it for you on the screen. So we go to chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen. Which in, which interpretation is your favorite, my friend? Because here we have all kind of interpretation. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. That's wonderful. Let's go to Ibn Kathir. That's beautiful. You have a good choice, my friend. You have a good taste, mashallah. All right, chapter 21, verse number 17. All right. Had we intended to take a past time, we could surely have taken it from ourselves if we were going to do that. All right. Had we intended to take a past time, we could surely have taken uh, uh, taken it from us. Do you see it? This is Ibn Kathir. From us, Allah will take mm -hmm. a partner from us, meaning from ourself. He is saying, we would mm -hmm. not have a created paradise and hell and etc. and resurrection etc. And then in kunna fa'irin, if we are going to do so. Okay, Mujahid said, mm -hmm. every time the word is used, if. It is a, a negation. Nay, if uh, feeding the truth against the falsehood, so is giving you a compare for the other verses. All right. They don't say much really here about this. That's it. So Allah will take a partner with ourselves. Who is ourself, my friend? Huh? It says, Allah, we have clearly taken it from ourselves. Allah will take what from ourselves? Allah will take a partner from ourself. Who is the self partner? Allah will have sex with himself. And by the way, this is a fast in a translation here because in the Arabic is different. The Muslims are cutting off 
the accurate Ibn Kathir. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we will see that it is a totally different story. If we go here in the same website, let's see if we have Ibn Kathir interpretation. Tafsir al Jalalain. Let us go to Tafsir al Jalalain. Okay. Read with me. It says, لو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوا which is for fun as a as a wife or a child we are going to take it from ladinna from ourself from the hurul ain and al malaika let us see that in english so people they can read with us all right let us go here in this time uh, uh, i'm jahil i can't answer you are what I'm Jahil. I don't know about this team. Oh, you do not know. All the Muslims do not know. I never saw any Muslim. He knows anything. You are just a new, like, I mean, just additional Muslim. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You will wake up tomorrow. You will wake up tomorrow and you will notice that you know because you just spoke to me. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. As you see, it's in English in front of us. You can read for us. <clears throat> Wait. Is somebody saying pastime and partner is not the same? No, here is speaking about a partner as a wife. And this is why you see the Muslims. This is the pastime is a, just a false translation. I just told you from the beginning. The word in Arabic there is lahu. Lahu is a specifically a woman. Have we desire to find some diversion which is provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child? Let us see who is the partner and who is the child. We would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed huris. So the partner first will be from the huris, and if you want to have a child, it's going to be from the angels. So okay, this is what our, this is what ourself, uh, the huri, the huris are ourself. Uh, you hmm. said uh, Jesus make the the dead come alive. Don't change the topic. Right. Allah is going to have sex with the black eyed women. How that can happen? I don't know. Uh... Hmm. I'm jahil this time. I don't know. Okay, but I I, okay, but I want you to think with me. Let us think together. The, the, yeah, the beautiful like women, the beautiful women who have a very, very big ass, one mile, as your prophet he said, She have one mile ass. She will be the beautiful wife of Allah if he like to take a partner. In order for Allah to do that to be possible, that's mean Allah he have to be a man too, because those women they will sleep with the same men like you. So how al hur is a possible partner for Allah in the bed in the same time she is a possible partner for you in bed in heaven I can't give you an answer I'm, I'm jail in this team mm. I can't give you an answer. okay my friend let me ask you a question I want you to to ask me a question to ask you which mean I want you to say to me I, I want you to ask me this question about Islam. What question you like me to ask you? Yeah, I want to uh, ask you. You said uh, Jesus make the dead uh, come uh, come alive, mm. right? Yeah. And uh, made the lame walk, and make mm. the blind see. Mm. And okay, mm. go back to the Old Testament uh, on page seventy one. Mm. All of the miracle of Jesus mm. were done. <clears throat> All of the miracle of Jesus were done. All of the prophets in the Old Testament. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, if this is true, that means is, do, okay. Do you believe in? The, do you believe that? The, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. What, what about Adam? What about Eve? What Adam and Eve? What what uh, Adam and Eve here is like people from there? Eve had no uh, no mother. And Adam has uh, no father. That's a mother. very good smart of you, Adam. He have no mother, but my friend, how Adam will have a mother, but he is not born. Is Adam born? No. Okay, so it's it's for sure that he have no mother. But I'm asking you now, as long as you mention that, why Jesus is the only human being in Islam who don't have a father? How that can happen? How a person can have no father? Adam is not born, so there's no sex. God, he made him from mud and water, and he breathed into him. That's wonderful. But Jesus is not made from mud and water. He is born from a woman. Her name is Maryam. Why he don't have a father according to your understanding as Abdul? 
because he is omnipotent. He is what? Omnipotent. God is omnipotent. He can do all he wants. Oh, okay. But why he did that to Jesus only? Why he did not do that to Muhammad? Muhammad, he have a father who is a kafir. His mother is a kafir. And they are bad people will go to hell. Shouldn't Allah, he honor Muhammad more and even choose for him better mother and father? Look, Mary in the Quran is one of the best women ever. Jesus in the Quran, he is the son of a woman. She is the best woman of mankind. And he have no father. So who is the father who made Mary Britain I don't know who is the one who made Mary Britain according to your religion I don't know isn't it Allah I'm are you not, I'm not sure I can't give are you, you are you, are, you, are, you, are you saying you don't know that Allah he is the one who made Mary Britain what do you mean you don't know okay. who is the one who made Mary Britain isn't it Allah I don't understand you. Who is the one who made Mary Bretnet with Jesus? Is it Allah? Who, say, who sends uh, Jesus to, uh, to uh, Mar uh, Miriam? No, no. A woman, she get a Bretnet. If a woman, if, if she sleep with a man, he have sex with her, and then she deliver a baby after nine months. Okay. But in the case of Jesus, the Quran says that Mary, she slept with no man. Correct? So how Mary she deliver a son, but yet she don't don't have a man. Who is the one who made her have the son? God. God, thank you. So the father of Jesus is God, because the one who made the women of Britain is the father of this child. Okay, if I make if I make a woman of hold on, if I make a woman of Britain, it's mean I am the father of the child. If you make your wife a Bretnet, if your neighbor sleep with your wife and he made her Bretnet, that means he is the he is the father of the child, not you, even you, if they, even though they are his the husband. So who is the one who is the father of Jesus? You just admitted that this is must be God. But now, if he as uh, as a father die, what happens with the family and and the son? What father die? Uh, uh, Allah will die. When Jesus died on the cross. It means that uh, that. The father and the holy is uh, is all day. No, that is the flesh. The flesh. You see, God. God is not a flesh. God became a flesh, and they killed the flesh. But God never died. You yourself, as a human being, when they kill you, if somebody kill you, like let's say you have a fight with your wife, and she is big and powerful, as most of Muslim women, and then she sit in the top of you, and she she destroy your chest, and she killed you. That will not make you really dead forever, because simply still your spirit will be alive, and our God is a spirit. So. Our God never died. Jesus said before Abraham, I am, which means his existence have nothing to do with him being a man. How can a uh, God be killed? Nobody can kill God. You are right. Who can? Nobody can kill God. Who said that God, he, you know, they killed the, the flesh of the man. I just told the you. Christians said, uh, they, yeah, they, killed, they are uh, saying, okay, they killed the man, which is Jesus, but they cannot kill God. This is why God, he came back. It's called, it's called resurrection. So God, he came to us and he showed us his glory. He showed us that he can overcome death. Not only Jesus, he resurrect people from death, but he himself, he come to us from death, which mean they kill the man, but they cannot kill God. God came, he resurrect the body, unite with it, and came to us. He says, here we go. I am here. Okay. Hmm. Other, other question. Okay. Please don't make Jesus it hard. Please I promise me you would not make the question very hard. Because I am, I, I am Jahil. Jesus pray, uh, Jesus pray, yes? Okay. Pray to yeah. God. Uh -huh. Jesus pray to God. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, he prays to himself. Why? Okay, that's a good question. There is a debate happened just a few weeks ago between a guy. His name is Muhammad Hijab. Do you know him? No. He have a debate with a brother. His name is David Wood, and he said that Allah he pray for. So I will go with your logic. We as a Christians, we believe that Jesus he speak to the Father, because we believe in the Trinity. The Son mm -hmm. speak to the Father, so it makes sense. When Allah he pray in the Quran and he say Allah Allah and the angels they pray for the Prophet Allah he pray for who but this is dua what dua Allah is making dua that's wonderful what is dua dua means supplication to God so Allah making supplication to God 
Why well, uh, show me? Uh, come on, my friend. What do you mean, show me? You just say it. You just answer me. You said Allah is making dua. Allah making dua. Dua means supplication. So Allah making mistake. supplication to who? Ah, it was a mistake. Ah, it was a mistake. Ah, all of you do mistakes. I mean, I don't know what to do. But now, my friend, I don't know wherever I go with you. You do not know what to say. But let me let me tell you something here. Uh, who is the one who told you that? Allah is exist huh? who is the one who said to you that Allah is a God and he is exist where you heard this first time okay the Quran have no witnesses only one guy there's only one guy he said I am Muhammad and here we go the Quran do you accept something without witnesses who is the witnesses for the Quran in Islam, if a woman commit adultery or a man, you have to have to have to bring four witnesses, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how just for a silly stuff like adultery, you need four witnesses, but for the word of God, you have no witnesses. What is the witnesses of Muhammad receiving Quran from Allah? Do we have a witness? I don't know. Uh, I can't give you an answer. I'm not okay, sure. let me tell you something. I am a prophet and my name is Muhammad and I don't have witnesses and Allah yesterday He took me in the top of a flying donkey to the seven heaven. Do you believe me? Again, <laughs> do you believe me or not? Please be honest. Do you believe me? Uh, 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 yesterday I was asleep and a donkey he knocked at my in the window. He was white donkey very beautiful very sexy wearing a bracelet made in China and uh, I jump in the top of the donkey and the donkey took me to the sky. Do you believe me or not? If the prophet uh, will say no, I'm asking you. Do you believe in my story? The donkey came to me and he took me to the seven heaven and was a very sexy white donkey. Do you believe my story? No, why? Because you're not a prophet. Okay. And how you how uh, oh, oh, okay? What if I say to you I'm a prophet? How you can prove me that not not to be a prophet? How you will know if I'm prophet or not? Okay, I will say to you I'm prophet. How you will know if I am telling the truth or not? You uh, you have no you ha you have not the holy book. I don't have a holy book. No, I have a book. It's called the uh, the the Burkan. Muhammad don't have a book too. When he when he said first time he is a prophet he don't even have a word what book so what is the proof why you don't believe me me and Muhammad is the same I have no witnesses I have no miracles nobody see me go into the seven heaven in the top of a flying donkey even when I have sex with my wife there is no witnesses the hadith says that you're a prophet when he have sex he don't have sex with his wives he was having sex with the pillow or something else it says that the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. What do you think? What is the reason for that? Be really careful. It says, the prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had slept, had sexual relationship with his wives, but in fact, he did not do so. So even the sex of your prophet, there's no witnesses for it. Have you ever heard of a man, he have sex, but there's no witness, even the wife is not there? He was having sex with who? I don't know. Maybe watermelon. There's a guy in the text. He's saying watermelon because in Islam you can have sex with watermelon. Temporarily marriage. So how we can trust Muhammad if even his sex was fake? How we can trust that this guy? It says here, imagining, imagining. How you can trust Muhammad to be a prophet of God if he is confirming to you from your authentic resource that he is imagining? Even his sex is fake. Allah and the Quran uh, told us the Quran really? told you okay my friend by the way I notice you are very smart and very educated I'm very thankful that you call me feel free to call me some other yes, time from I, time I to time I have a question I have a question I you know I'm afraid to answer uh, to, look, to answer you because your question is really hard look in the Bible Jesus never said uh, I I am the son of the God he never said that yeah David mm. is called the son of the God mm. Abraham is called the son of the God mm. Adam is called he is called where where is called that where where, where 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 hold on hold on hold on okay okay do you do you believe hold on hold on hold on do you believe that okay hold on hold on abdul 
Do you believe that Abraham, he said he is son of God? Do you believe in that? Do you believe that Abraham, he said he is son of God? I don't know. In the in the, in the Bible. No, 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 no. Which Bible? The Bible of Allah or the Bible of who? In the, in the Bible. Which Bible? The Bible of Allah? Yes. Okay. Which which verse in the Bible of Allah it says that Adam, he said he is son of God? I thought to you, Adam is called the son of God. Wait. Okay, hold on. Which Bible it says? It says, uh, you said the Bible of Allah saying that. Show me in the Bible of Allah, Adam said he is son of God. Right. Hmm. Okay, my friend, call me some other time. You know, take care of your time. Next, next time, call me and find your reference, okay? And read the Bible okay. of Allah. All right. Thank you for calling. Take care. Take, no, 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 it's okay. I'm done with you. I'm afraid if I speak to you for long, I will become like you. Um... <clears throat> Oh boy, thank God I am who I am. <laughs> this is what I say, be, be a person who appreciates what you have. You will not know how lucky you are until you see what is happening around you. Hello? Hey, Christian Prince, how are you? Hey, my friend, how are you doing? Oh uh, man, that was really embarrassing, man. The last color, I think he forgot to eat his seven ajwa before calling you. He was not immune enough. You know what? I, I saw a movie, a guy, he's an American. His name is Sylvester Stallone. He <laughs> ate seven ajwa before he go in the war and everybody was shooting at him. Yeah, and he nothing got, he was got happening. all the kills, right? He didn't got killed, he got all the kills. I mean, the <laughs> bullet, they were coming down and like he, the, and he, not only that, his gun never get empty just because he ate seven ajwa. True story, Sahir Bukhari. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this, this is really uh, something there's a guy uh, there's uh, a guy uh, in the text he's saying stop lying he's a muslim are you a muslim mr N N near seven are you a muslim call us call us if you are lying show us how we are lying my friend. no no he's he's not a muslim the oh, other okay. guy uh, the other oh, guy you I thought... you bend him i think okay <laughs> it's a waste of time i i read in a text so yes brother cbc uh he told that in the text is a waste of time so yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know about uh chapter 21 uh i 17 you were talking about uh, uh, us you know from our kind even right. if you go to chapter 6 i 101 <coughs> it's clear it says sahiba sahiba right. of who girlfriend of allah right so you have two ayahs it's mentioning that if Allah wants, he can have sex with either Jibreel. Maybe Allah likes men. You don't know, right? Maybe you know, it can be Jibreel. Maybe it can uh, Huri. You know that. So know. yeah, and who is us? Who is us? It's uh, Allah have uh, Allah will have sex with <coughs> angels, or you will have sex with uh, someone who, who is on his level. I mean, another god. So clearly, in Islam, uh, you have many gods. You don't have only Allah because it says us. Us cannot mean angels. Us cannot mean Huri. So, Muhammad got himself busted, and he got Allah busted, right? Yeah, and the and the Quran confirmed that the word Ladunna mean ourself. Yes. And, uh, actually, ourself and our kind, not just it's like from me as a part of me is not just a statement of uh, someone. Oh, we have a Muslim. I, forgive me, uh, my friend. Okay, okay, brother. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Hello. How are you, my friend? How are you doing, man? I'm all right. You are a Muslim? Uh, yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What Alhamdulillah mean? It means all praise to God. Okay. So how come in the Quran, in chapter 1, verse number 2, Allah, he say, Alhamdulillah? Because uh, God does what he wants, but that's that's not what I'm no, no, no. about. I'm hold on, hold on. How Allah he's saying, Alhamdulillah, if he's Allah. He's Allah. 
Allah, he'd say Alhamdulillah. Because when he says it in the Quran, he's, he's teaching people to say that. No, what, know, what, it says, what it says he is teaching, show me please. I want to see it. What it says that Allah, he was saying to you, say. He did not say the word say. In the Quran, I can show you many places when Allah want to say, say. He say the word say. Here, there's no say. It says, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful. Why Allah? Mm -hmm. He is Allah. But yet he say in the name of Allah. And then he says, all praise be to Allah. Okay, Allah is praising Allah, and then he says, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Why he is repeating the same sentence he just said in the first verse? He just said that already. Why you want to say it again? And then he says, You alone we worship, and you alone turn for help. How Allah he says, it's, you a, alone. it's a it's a the Quran is miraculous, it's because it's been designed for humans to memorize, like man, the, the, that's the okay. The gospel, well, okay, gospels, okay, my, my friend. It. Okay, are you saying to me that memorizing the Quran and proving the Quran to be a miracle? No, I didn't say that. You're okay, did, did your prophet forget the Quran? Yeah, what? Did he forget the Quran? I yeah, don't, I don't know. I wasn't there. All I know. No, but are you, but, but you are saying, Quran, but, but you are saying, but you are saying that memorizing the Quran is a miracle, right? And uh, I didn't say that. You didn't put words into my mouth. You, I don't know what you said then about memorizing. <clears throat> I said. The Quran was designed to be memorized to be memorized. Okay, like, you know, uh, I, 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 I agree with you. Book. I agree guys Did he say it was designed It was designed so it's not designed to be the book of wisdom. It's just designed to be memorized. It's like a rap song, correct? No, no, but it see, says a stupid thing. There's much wisdom in there. Okay, as well, let, let us see Okay, I want you to show me one verse on the Quran teaching wisdom. Go ahead it's, it's everywhere every every verse okay as long as you don't want to choose for me i will choose one for you what about we do this the quran says that allah he said that the night of al-qadr is better than one thousand month if you pray in that night do you agree with it yeah i've heard that before as well okay actually. what that's, is the wisdom behind the holy month it's a holy month no it says a night not the month the night of the power is better than mm -hmm. a thousand months. What is the wisdom of that? What, what do you mean? What's the? It's not. You said this is the book of wisdom. It's telling you, okay, it's you a, are a Muslim. He is a Muslim. Night is a powerful night. Okay, but do, did, did Allah even told you which night it is? No, I don't think he did. Okay, so how you will know between. which night it is if Muhammad himself do not know? He which night know. it is? He just didn't want to tell people because he people did not would know. Just focus on that day. Ah, he did not know, so he is hiding it. Why? Told you because he didn't want the he wanted the people to sanctify the whole month and be righteous in the whole month. If he told you, if he told the people, one day, so Allah is saying day. to you, there's a night of Al Qadr and it's better than 1000 night. But the, the Muhammad he did not tell us, but isn't it Muhammad he said that this is the night when he received Quran? Yeah, okay, well, as I say, that's I mean, that's mean this is, should be should be known to everybody. Not listening to me, man. I am listening, my friend. I'm listening. Why? Night, why, my, my friend? My friend? Night, my friend? My friend? If he told you the exact day, okay. nobody would bother with the rest of the All month. Right. They would just do let, that let day. Me, let me ask you: Did your prophet try to tell you? But he said he claimed that he forgot when it is. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay. But yo, can I can I ask you a question? What if I show you that he forgot? <laughs> I don't know, but what can I ask you a question? Though? But if you forgot, if you forgot, is that mean your prophet is making things making things up? You know, you don't you don't let people ask you questions. Like, okay, go ahead. No, no, I you know you are, we are talking, my friend. And we're talking. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to tell me? Ask me the question. Please don't okay. make it hard. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, because like you guys always criticize the Quran and that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what about the origin origins of the gospel and how they came about? Okay, what about it, my well, friend? Tell I, me. Like Emperor Constantine and that, and and the Romans, they're mm. they're the ones who hijacked the true Injil and stuff. Okay. You know, well, let us see if this okay. is true. Let me ask you a question: Does the Quran mention that Jesus he have apostles and he mentioned uh, your your Islamic mentions uh, uh, Islamic books mention John and Paul and no, there's uh, no Simon. John and Paul. This was Roman stuff, man. No, there's, so there's no okay. There's so no so is, is Paul Paul John and Paul and okay? This, there's there's no Roman books. Stuff. Okay, there's no books in Islam speaking about Paul. I've, I've never I've never heard of it. But okay, I'm asking Paul, you. I'm, I'm repeating Matthew, the question. Mark, Don't Luke tell me. John, 
Okay, these, you are, are asking Roman, me, my friend. You are, are asking people. my friend. You are asking That's me. That's what I'm trying to ask you, my friend. Yes, I'm asking you too. You said that Paul is a Roman, right? Did you say that Paul is a Roman? Yes, he okay. is. He's Roman. So how the Quran speak that Jesus he have three messengers, and the interpretation of the Muslim says that the third was Paul. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mention him by name. Well, here we go. Chapter thirty-six, verse number fourteen. And we can read the interpretation. Do you know Arabic? No, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm an English. I'm okay, English. who are they? Those are three messengers which sent by Jesus, and they are messengers of God. We don't know. They weren't mentioned by name in the Quran. No, so my we friend, we know. No, no, we know. We know. Do, it's not a good do, thing do you do. believe? Do you believe in Ibn Kathir? Do you like me to show you Ibn Kathir? Which which interpretation like yeah, me to show you? Ibn, Ibn Kathir, he wasn't infallible. So we, we okay. Can't. Ibn Kathir he, is he's, infallible. He's Guys, Ibn Kathir is infallible. Who else? Who else? What? Who else? Okay. How we understand the verse now? We have a verse speaking about three messengers. They are the messengers of Jesus. How we will know who are they? Does it specifically say it was messengers from Jesus, though? Yes, it says that. Mm -hmm. It says that. Because this is the city where they are the messengers of Jesus was sent to, to it, and they did miracles in the name of Jesus. Oh, I don't know about that, man. Okay, I you know, tell me. Okay, which John interpretation, Baptist, which, inter real name which, is which it is, he, he which, it, which, it, which is the interpretation you accept as a Muslim? interpretations yeah which one know. is your favorite choose one for me there's no way i don't i don't have a favorite man like no I, problem but you as a muslim when you want to learn about islam which is the interpretation you like to read it from i don't i don't read i um what do you mean you don't read you don't like to read no i don't i get my information elsewhere where do you get your information from there's no point reading an english quran because when you translate the word of god it loses all its panache so but do you know arabic do you know arabic yourself it's like no i don't okay That's there's the no if point I knew, if okay. i knew arabic okay, I, would my friend. Read, I would read the Quran. okay my friend you just say something you just said something very important there's no point to read the translation but you do not know arabic how you will know your religion then that's why i just Listen to scholars and see and listen to many. Thank you very much, he, guys. He just said he listened to scholars. So, what the scholar you like me to read for you from? Why you refuse to give you what the scholar they say about the verses we mentioned to you? You just say yeah, it. That, you just yeah, say it. That, you just said everybody heard argument. you. No, my my point. Your point is very clear. You just said that you listen to scholars to learn what it is about. So, what is the yeah, scholar exactly. you like him to read for you from? Speaking about the chapter 36 verse number 14. What is the scholar your favorite? I Don't have a favorite man. Okay, They're no problem. Good. Then we have but to choose the anything is, Okay, that's the thing is the wait, thing is the thing is you're trying now. to avoid the thing is you're trying to avoid right. Here we go. Hold on. I will show you Ibn Kathir Ibn Kathir. This is your friend You must you like him very much even though he's like a lot, but here we go. This is Ibn Kathir All right mm -hmm. That's here, man And we will go to the verse okay but you see you're you're gonna read the verse with a negative eye i am you not know, reading no you you read it for me no problem i'm showing the screen everybody can see i will not read for you anything can you read it in its original text and then translate it though no, don't this is the muslim translation because... this is the muslim translation if i read it for you in its original text you will say to me i'm making things up yeah, but you you speak fluent Arabic, right? No problem. I will read for you in Arabic. No problem. Here we go. It says here, just to show everybody, we supported them, we string them with the messengers Ibn Juraiz narrated from Wahab Ibn Sulaiman, from Shu'aib al Jabi. The names of the first two messengers were Shamaun and Yohanna, and the name of the third was Bolos, which means Paul, and the city was Antioch. What do you say? Wait, how do you know that's Paul, though? Well, it says there, Bulos. This is the, the way we say it in Arabic. We say Paul, we say Bulos in Arabic. So, Yohanna and Samoon, which is mean yeah, but, Simon yeah, Peter. But Paul, okay, can I just ask you though? Yeah, but Paul never saw Jesus in his life though. My friend, you see, you explain to me now why the Muslims believe about Paul and Jesus in the All Bible. Right. No, Jesus, he saw, he saw, he, he, he appeared to, to, uh, to Paul when he was in the way to Damascus. 
So yes, he appeared. Yeah, no, to them. But yeah. he never saw him in the flesh. Okay, my friend Muhammad, he so never saw Jesus. He know, Muhammad, he, he never. Teaching. Muhammad, he never saw Jesus. He came six hundred after Jesus. How he talk about Jesus? Because the angel Jibreel told him. Okay, the angel Jibreel, he never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. How you know that Jibreel yeah. even exists? What is the proof that Muhammad he saw Jibreel? Isn't it your prophet? No, he says that Jibreel, Jibreel is a guy. His name is Dahiel Kalbi. He appeared to him in the, in the image of a guy. His name is Dahiel Kalbi. Your prophet mm -hmm. in Sahih al-Bukhari says that the prophet he used to imagine himself having sexual intercourse with his wife, but in fact he did not because he was bewitched. All How right. you can trust? This, yeah, this is this is because someone did a some evil spell on him. Okay, and thank you very much. What is uh, is, 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 is this spell? Stuff. Is this spell coming from the devil? Yeah, I'd imagine okay. so. Thank you very much. So, guys, the spell is coming from the devil, which means the devil controlled Muhammad. No, no, I see. You just said it. God he was, he was see, under Allah, a spell. Allah, he, he allowed that to happen. To, okay, to no show problem. So, he, Allah, he allowed shaitan. So, Allah allowed shaitan to control him. Not control. No, he, you just he, said he under like, a spell. You just said that. You just said he's under a spell. Yeah, they, these are all signs for mankind that this can happen. These things are happening. My friend. You know? As long he is under the spell, what, what is under the spell? You are the one who said to me the spell is evil. How he can be under the spell, and you are the one who said the spell is from the devil. Yeah. How Muhammad became you know, under the spell? No, Explain said, to us. I, I said that he it was allowed to happen to him as a sign for mankind, so that so mankind can know that that these things happen. My friend, the, 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 so in, in order to know to make you know that there is AIDS, I will make you sick with AIDS. Muhammad is a prophet of no, God. See, what no, is the wisdom? That's... What what is the wisdom? What is the wisdom of making him look funny and look stupid? Because people will make fun of him. He imagined the poor guy. Just, I just he asked, imagined. I just asked. My friend, I, I look look with me what you are saying. Allah is making fun of Muhammad. He allowed it to happen because this is will make him look stupid because he is imagining sign for mankind. What sign? Sign to make him this guy lose mind, his mind, and he cannot even recognize real sex from fake sex. <laughs> Black magic yeah, is coming see, from who? Black magic in Islam is coming from who? From Shaitan or from Allah? I'd imagine it's from Satan, yeah. Hmm, okay. Isn't it the Quran says that Shaitan he have no authority over Muhammad? It may do, but as I said, Allah allowed certain things to happen, like the satanic <laughs> verses. Allah allowed it to happen. Why? Okay. It's because, because it's evidence mm -hmm. that the Quran could not corrupt the Quran. He okay. tried and he failed. Okay, but but, but satanic verses approve that Muhammad he received satanic verses, correct? <laughs> yes, but okay. they never went into the eternal scripture afterwards because he tried to enter the scripture, but okay, he but, failed. But Satan he made Muhammad. Okay, but Muhammad he recited the satanic verses, correct? Yeah, he recited. Okay, so what is the satanic? What is the satanic verses he recited? Do you know? Yeah, apparently he mentioned three pagan goddesses instead of Allah and said or some something along those lines. Okay, so you agree that he said Al Gharani in Tortaja, the three the flying daughters of Allah, their intercession is a is a hoped or must. You agree? He yeah, said, yeah, he, he did say that. All right. Now it, it was a sign for mankind to, to show you that Satan tried to that's have a wonderful. Hand in the Quran, okay, but, he but failed. Let, let me ask you here a question. You Muslim you say that nobody can make Quran, correct? Nobody can make the Quran. Nobody can mm -hmm. make Quran like the Quran of Allah, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, how Muhammad, true. how Muhammad he received satanic verses and he did not notice that this is not Quran? It's because it was a Quranic verse. They just he put the <coughs> say the shaitan and deceived him into putting three different names. It was still the Quran. It was just three names different. My friend, that, that's not a, that is not the problem. What I'm saying to you, how Muhammad did not notice that this is not Quran. If the Quran is something, I mean, who can know the Quran better than Muhammad? That's, Muhammad is yeah, a exactly. prophet. Okay, so how Muhammad did not notice when he spoke the satanic verses? He did not notice that this is cannot be from God. How Muhammad he mentioned the three daughters of Allah, Allah and Al Uzza, mm -hmm. and he bowed down worshiping them, but yet he did not notice that he is doing something wrong. How how this happen? I told you, Allah <coughs> subhanahu allowed this to happen mm. to prove to mankind that mm. Shaitan tried to enter the Quran but mm. failed. Mm. How I and know? No, okay, there's no okay. hand of Shaitan in okay, the Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. God. All right. 
as long as long you agreed that shaitan was able to give Muhammad satanic verses what is the proof that the verse itself which it says Allah will delete the satanic verses is not made from shaitan because if Muhammad can receive first time satanic verses well shaitan he will give him another verse saying okay whatever verses shaitan gave you we will take yeah, it off mm -hmm. I hear that but the angel Jibreel came and they took it off you know mm -hmm. and it proves that the Quran was watched I thought the off. one I thought the one who preserved the Quran is the Muslims not Jibreel how Jibreel can take off he came when the messenger was here so okay was, but um, I know but he, Jibreel, took he took it from who he took it from the chest of the believers because the believers they memorize it by their chest you are the one who said to me the Quran is yeah, designed came, to be memorized the, uh, yeah the angel Jibreel <laughs> he came to the Prophet mm -hmm. and he and the Prophet told him that he made a mistake the shaitan made him made a mistake mm. and he gave him the true verse after mm. you know to prove that mm. shaitan couldn't enter the quran mm. what is the proof that jibreel came to muhammad if there's any witnesses yeah you just got to trust and believe in the prophet man my friend is okay, it can, it, I, can okay, I just ask you a question hold on before we, before we change no problem off topic. no problem listen is it true that shaitan he came to muhammad in the image of jibreel I don't know I've never heard that here we go I will show you the reference you are the one who said you like uh, to uh, to see a reference in Arabic okay if it is a this question is, I wanted to ask this is the seer al kabir you don't, you don't let me this is al razi this is al razi al razi he said that the prophet Muhammad the shaitan came to him Wait, in the he, image who said that by the way sorry al razi uh, the imam al razi, al -Razi. yeah Who's that? Guy? I've never heard of that guy, man. You never heard of him? We can change it for he, you. What do you want? You want, he, me, you want me to? Okay, companion? you, you want is me to change? Companion? No problem. Do you want me to change that for you? Al Bagawi. You heard of Al Bagawi? What are these companions, though? My friend, is Ibn Kathir companion? Is a Jalalain companion? Is Al Qurtubi companion? What are you talking about? Exactly, like who are these people? Is that like, companion? Who, who are these hadith people? That's what I'm saying. My like, friend, okay, no problem, no problem, anyway. no, problem no problem, no problem, no problem. Here we go. But, yo, okay. okay, here we saw it. Just, just read with me. Hold on, hold on. وقيل إن الشيطان يقال يقال له الأبيض عمل هذا العمل. So Shaitan, his, his, he was. It's called the white. He made that for him. Why he is the white? Because simply he took the image of Jibril. He came to Muhammad in the image of Jibril, and he appear to him as if he is Jibreel because he's white shaitan is not white in Islam shaitan is black so he transformed his look he made himself look white and he came to Muhammad as the white Jibreel and he made him say the satanic verses now as long this is what the Muslims believe that a white shaitan uh, 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 shaitan changed his color from black to white and he came to him in the image of Jibreel how we can guarantee that the one who came to Muhammad always as Jibreel was not shaitan? We can pretty much guarantee that, man. Okay, so it's, so it's it's very highly possible that Muhammad he was always receiving satanic verses. No, because it shows you that they tried to do satanic verses, but it was my friend, you just said you just you just failed. said okay, you just said there's no guarantee that the one was coming to Muhammad is. The 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 shit. No, it's a hundred. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. Like, How one hundred percent? Read with me carefully. وقال ابن عباس إن الشيطان يقال له الأبيض قد أتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على صورة جبريل عليه السلام. And Shaitan ibn Abbas said, "This is the cousin of Muhammad." He said mm -hmm. that a Shaitan, he was named as Al Abiyat, which means the white. He came to the Prophet in the image of Jibreel. And he gave yeah, him the satanic it. verses. Okay, so Shaitan is able to come in the image of Jibreel in Islam. Yeah. Okay. So now, how we can guarantee that Muhammad he did not see Shaitan all the time from the beginning to the end? It's as long he can come, it's uh, he very can simple, come. man. How simple? How? It's very simple because even if the Shaitan tr numer tried numerous times to mm. corrupt the Quran like this, mm. every time the real angel Jibreel alayhi salam will show up later and say, mm. "Look, this is fake." This is the, this is from shaitan. It's sim very simple. I don't, I don't no, see why what, you what happened in this story this. here. People they start laughing at him and they start saying to Muhammad, "You are a liar." You know, you say to us, "You are against the idols." And when you go with the with the idol worshiper, you worship their idol gods. So Muhammad get busted. So now he tried to fix it. So he said, "Oh Allah, he told me that this is shaitan. He put it in my mouth." 
and why Allah will allow mm -hmm. that and you are the one who said to me uh, when, when we say that Jibreel shaitan he came in the image of Jibreel it's mean according to your religion Allah allowed shaitan come in the image of Jibreel correct well angel the the shaitan he can take many forms like okay can he can, he can can he take the form of Allah well obviously no how how you know well it's just not possible why not uh, I just know it's just okay. Very what illogical. makes shaitan? What makes shaitan able to take the image of an angel, specifically Jibreel? Because they're made of similar. No, shaitan is made from fire. Angels are made from 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 light. They are not from the same yeah. kind. How he can do that? They're not. They're not made from the same. Okay, let me ask you. Uh, did similar. Allah did Allah protect the Quran from the goat? So according to you, Allah protect the Quran from the shaitan. How come Allah he could not stop a goat from destroying the Quran? I, yeah, and you, you was gonna say that a go ate something. Yeah, that's yes. That's a different How idea. Allah? No, different. Not, this is not the same topic. Because <laughs> if Allah can fight a shaitan, at least He can fight a little tiny goat who is not uh, a shaitan. How the goat ate the maybe, Quran and the Quran disappeared? Maybe Allah. It's very simple. Maybe Allah Subhanahu wanted that verse mm. to be taken away. So you are saying it. you are saying Allah He sent this goat as a messenger and maybe she is Jibreel too and He ate no, the He ate the goat. Messenger. He just told His creation to go and eat it. You know no I mean? problem. But like you are saying to me that this goat she is doing the order of Allah that would make her a messenger and messenger and servant of Allah. She is working for Allah as an agent. She well, went inside the house is, of the Prophet. She ate the Quran and she is doing a service for Allah. Why Allah need to send the goat to eat the Quran? It was maybe the verse Allah subhanahu wanted to abrogate the verse. He Very abrogated simple. by goats but, like in, in Islam. You yeah, abrogate verses by you goats. Do what he wants. Okay, but can I ask you? Can I just quickly ask you? Oh, one no, question? hold on, because... hold on, hold on. Allah, He do whatever He want. How come Allah, He do whatever He want when you want, and Allah, He don't do whatever He want when you want? As an example, you say that Allah cannot have a son. Yeah, okay, but are you just say to me, Allah, He can do whatever He want? Well. This is the thing. Why? Why would he need to make a son when he can create a man just by any, just by snapping his fingers, for an example? Here we go. He he you can know? he can destroy the the, the Quran, but the, the verses by snapping his finger. But he sent a goat. He can protect the Quran by snapping mm -hmm. his fingers. But Shaitan came in the image of Jibreel. Yeah, but he does it. Has and he, by the way, he wants, I never. I, by the thinks. way, how you, I, I what, you did you did you just say that Allah by snapping his finger he can do that? You are agreeing that, that, that was, Allah has fingers, was, right? That that was metaphorically speaking. No, but, no, okay. this is not true. Allah have five fingers. Do you want to show you the reference? Yeah, no, I agree. I okay. agree that. So Allah have five Allah fingers. Let me about, ask you why Allah have five yeah. fingers. Why Allah have five because fingers? He, because he created mankind in his image. No problem. It's very simple. He created ah, even in your five guys, he created mankind in his image. So you agree now that Allah image is the same as image of, as of a man. Is it's in a similar image, yeah. He created us in his So Allah image. is a man. It's in your Bible as well. So Allah is a man. No, he's, he's, no, he's not a man. He's he's a, he's a internal being, but hmm. he has he created us in his image. So therefore. I look like Allah, correct? No, we don't. Well, you we just, just said we you, had similar. You just said this is in my Allah, Bible. You are Allah, quoting. You are quoting image. what is in the he Old Testament. And things. You are quoting what is quoting in the Book of Genesis that okay, God He created man in His image, correct? Okay, and the, and you, actually yeah. your prophet he said that in the Hadith. I can show it to you. So Allah have the image of a man. So Allah is a man or not a man? No, we have the image of Allah. Allah created us in His okay. image. So we are in the image of Allah, and we are men, and we look like Allah. So He looked like us, and we look like Him, but He is not a man. What do we call Him then? No, it, just because we're made in His image doesn't mean we look like Him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it just means we have similar features. Similar feature, what like? Yes, I, yes. I, I, he have an ass. I have an ass. He have a butt. I have a butt. You have hands. I have no, hands. No, correct. No, no. He doesn't. He doesn't have that stuff. He, he has probably hands, face, and but that but that will not make him in our image. That will make, not make him in our image. I, I wouldn't say he has a behind like to defecate like humans. You know. Mm, but, okay. You know. Okay. For, okay. Forget about this. Can listen. I, can listen. I just listen. Briefly ask you one question. Listen. Listen. Is the Quran today you have in your hand is it preserved? Yes, 100%. Okay. What is the verse for stoning to death, which is eaten by the goat? Uh, I don't know. I didn't want what, is verse what is the verses? What is the verses for breastfeeding for adult? I like breastfeeding for adult, by the way. Do you, what do you think about your God ordering Muslim women to give their boobs to be sucked ten times in ten different days? 
I mean, do you think this is? You I don't know. That's not in the Quran, so uh, we can't. There's no point dwelling. Well, here on we that, go. You know here I mean? we go. Aisha, she said the verses of Estonian today. I really want to ask you. A, I really my, want to my ask friend, you a question. Why, why about are you trying Bible? to escape the the, the the problem? I'm not. I'm why? Because I've okay. answered a lot now. I just wanted to get one from no, you. No, I want to know one thing from you. What kind of wisdom? You said this is the book of wisdom since you called me. What kind of book of wisdom ordering Muslim women, decent women, to give her breast to be sucked? It's it is there. there. It's in front of you. Aisha, she is reporting that. That this is a verse eaten how by the goat. How do we know she said that though? And and to more to the point, Aisha wasn't radiallahu anha, she wasn't a prophet, you know. She wasn't a prophet. So that's okay, I, that's wonderful. No, it's the prophet's wife, you know? Okay, so okay. It's, it's what about what about she, Muhammad? What about Muhammad? Is Muhammad a prophet? Yes, he is. Of okay. Course. Did Muhammad the last prophet. okay? What if I show you Muhammad saying to the women, go and give your boobs to the strange man? But, but you see, you you see what I'm saying? You always go to the hadith to try and corrupt. What I, will, so, what, I, what I will do, I will, Quran, go, I will go to Allah, I will go to Allah. This is the hate of your prophet. Your prophet says that. What the problem? Is it your prophet? That, no. So what, I will, what, these... I, will, what I will show you, uh, you how you can uh, trust how that. How do we know he said that? Huh? How do we know he said that? Because this is Sahih there, Muslim. Is also, this is Sahih Hadith. Hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. There, there is... My are, friend, are you aware of the hadith? Are I am aware. aware I'm aware. I'm aware of the scam of the hadith. I'm aware. I'm aware of the scam of Islam. I'm aware, my friend. Can I tell you one hadith, though? He said that. Prophet Muhammad said, so he said, if anyone makes a deep about me or, or something along these lines, like he doesn't want anyone to make hadiths about him. Okay, let me show that you how happy. stupid what you just said to me with my respect to you. If you're a prophet, he just said, don't make a hadith. If you write hadith about me, you have to. Because he knows you, it's going to get Hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend, hold on. If he, if he said, if anyone write a hadith about me, he should erase it, correct? Yeah. Okay. How the stupid one who wrote the hadith, which you are reading for me, he wrote the hadith. If he just said, "Don't write hadith," how you write the hadith itself about that? I just said to you, "Don't write hadith," and then That's you right. write a hadith. Says the prophet, he said, "If any one of you make hadith, erase it." How it's you write? A lot of hadith. My friend, this is not a story. This is not a story. I just told you, don't write hadith, and then you write a hadith saying the prophet said in the said etc. He just told you, don't do that. He's telling, he's telling you don't write hadith because he knew I know he, this is not the question lot, my friend he, he he told you not to do right the hadith yeah, but the no, guy he wrote understand, the hadith I understand, I understand. okay so what how this is a stupid you know you have to admit that Islam is is infected with stupidity if the guy he said to you don't drink camel urine and you and you said the prophet says to us uh, uh, don't drink camel urine and you are drinking the camel urine at the same time this is exactly what he's doing so see you later. Yeah, bro, can I just say everything you're against here is just pure hadith, hadith, hadith. But are you are you at all against anything in the Quran itself? Everything in the Quran is stupid. N name for me one chapter in the Quran is not stupid. Name me well, one, one uh, thing for me. Let me ask stupid, you. Man. Let me ask it's you how amazing. Allah how Allah created a human being in the Quran. What from like dust or clay and etc. Okay, did yeah. he mention did he mention alaqa? Did he mention that he created you from a congealed blood? Is that true? The blood sound, uh, yeah, sound uh, like, like, I can't remember okay. off by how I'm not. A, okay, I'm not how since, how uh, your yeah. God he makes such a mistake? He says that he created you from a congealed blood. The sperm will transform into a congealed blood. How well, your that's God? Not, that's not entirely true, man. Because there are doctors who have read the Quran and was amazed by how. Who are the doctors? They are not. They are reading translation, false translation, my friend. I am an Arab. You cannot do that with me. And this is the translation in front of you. This is done by Muslims. It says, "And we have the sperm into a clot, a congealed blood. Then the clot was made in a, in a lump. Not this. It says here photos. There's no photos. And then we made the out that the lamb of bones and the clothes the bones with the flesh." How in the world your God he makes such a mistake that the sperm became a congealed blood? It's not a mistake, man. It is, is a mistake. It, I mean, like doctors, doctors of what doctors? They are my friend. Those, those doctors, they do not know what is written there. The Muslim, they lie to them. They translate the word. No. They translate the word alaqa as a leech, which is false. Alaqa is a congealed blood. I saw the videos as a scam. And here we go many, in the front of everybody, my friend. In the front of everybody, in the front of everybody, choose for me that interpretation you wish, and I will show it to you, and you will see how stupid the mistake is. Which interpretation okay, you like I, me to show can you? Can I ask you a question now? now Why you want to jump from a place to I, place? Why we are jumping like monkeys, me and you, from a place to place? Why we cannot focus? Let us focus on this. Bro. If this is false, it's mean your God is false, and the story is over. If this is false, the story is over. 
So why we don't we've finish jumped, it? We've jumped to about five different Islamic You are the one who said to me about the miracle of the Quran. You are the one who said to me, why are you focus on the Hayyub but you don't focus on the Quran, aren't you? And now I jump to the Quran because you forced me to do that. So here we okay, go. Well, how well, can well, how well, Allah well, can well, be well, God? Well. How Allah can be God and he say such a stupid thing? Well, to you it might be stupid, but to thousands. No problem. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. What what Islam interpretation you like me to show you about this verse? What interpretation you like me to show you? I want to ask you something about Paul, my friend, pastor. my friend, my asked. friend. You do not know who is Paul. I just showed you that you Muslims believe in Paul, and I showed you, I showed you uh, the 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 uh, 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 tafsir Kathir. I can show you a yeah, be I can show you a Tabari. I can show you a Jalalain. Paul is a messenger okay, of God, okay. and you Muslims are copy paste. Okay, but, but how you Jesus know? How you know? Who is the one who told you? Let me ask you. You are the one who said to me a second ago. I said Aisha. She said. You said Aisha is not a prophet. I want you to show me one hadith from your prophet saying Paul was a bad man. I'm not I'm not saying he's bad like this I'm is not a question this is, this is not a question himself. because you are attacking Paul right okay why Muhammad did not say Paul is the bad person it's because he was told to do something and he did it That's he was he busy told. worshiping the three do daughters of Allah he was busy having sex with his wives he was busy having sex with the pillow he was under the black magic he yes. was bewitched okay, okay. but he have no time okay. to tell us to me? he have why, no time to say to us that Paul is a bad person I'm not, I'm not. I just want to know. I just want to know your opinion on it. <laughs> I, I just want to learn a bit about why Christians follow Paul so much because Jesus never saw him in his life. You say you met him on Damascus in the road to Damascus, but how? Yeah. how, he, do we, how he, he appeared he, to him. He appeared to him. He appeared okay, to him. All the questions, uh, do you have a witness? Because, like, this is the things you're saying about the prophet. No that, problem. Well, no, no problem. How do you know that? Wasn't the, the witness is very easy. If, if Paul was able to do miracles in the name of Jesus, that means he is sent by Jesus. So okay, the Quran, the Quran did, says spirit, the chapter 36, spirit, chapter 36, verse number 14 says, and the interpretation says that Paul was the most powerful messenger and he accomplished miracles. They challenged him to do miracles and he did accomplish okay, miracles. So this is the proof that Paul was a messenger of Jesus because in the name of Jesus, I am doing a miracle because I am sent by Jesus. Yeah, but Paul, he, um, how did he perceive this? Um, being that came to him on the road my to friend did your god did allah you did your god allah even appear to muhammad you, know, you just changed the topic no i'm not i'm just showing you the, i'm just, I'm just wanna... showing you your logic paul he he did miracles muhammad never did miracle paul he god appeared to him hold on let us compare let us appear muhammad never split the moon this is a big fat lie let me show you the verse doesn't say even that you muslims you are you are out of your mind where in the quran it says muhammad split the moon if you show me that i'm going to jump from the window right now Show me, please. It's in there, man. It's no, in show there. me. No, this is a big fat lie. No, you are a liar, my friend. The, the moon, the I am not insulting you. No, it doesn't say that Muhammad he split the moon. That is a big fat lie. The no, chapter. Okay, read the verse for me, please. Here we go. The verse in the front of you, where it says Muhammad he split the moon. No, Muhammad was a, a man, a prophet. God this is not the question. Moon. Where you you said you said to me that Muhammad he split the moon. I I said to you, Paul he did miracles in the name of Jesus. In, in response of that, you said to me, Muhammad, he split the moon. Okay, where in the Quran it says, Muhammad, he split the moon? I don't know the exact, I can't reference it. But I have the there. reference in the front of my eyes. It's chapter 54, and, verse and number not, one. I'm not saying Muhammad and by the way, the moon. this God verse, hold on, the verse, uh, the verse you quote for me proved Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Because he said that the judgment day is near because the moon is split ascender, which means the sign of the judgment start, started, and this was 1400 years ago, but the moon is still yeah, there, and the moon did not judgment. split. The moon did not spread. This is a big fat lie. Muhammad, Muhammad, he saw the eclipse and he thought the judgment day is coming. So he made and he fabricated a lie. He says judgment day is near and the moon split ascender. But there's no that's, moon that's spread. Speculation, man. my friend. No, this is not. This is not. It says there the judgment day. It says the word it means it's extremely soon in the corner. Okay. Okay. Can I ask? Can I, can I just finish though? But you see, Paul, right? Mm. The spirit that he saw on Damascus, it appeared to him like lightning surrounding, like flashing around him from heaven, right? Mm. And that's how that's how Paul saw mm. Jesus. Mm. The lightning flashed around him from heaven. Mm. But if we read um, Luke, if can you read Luke chapter ten verse eighteen? Read it for us. Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. Mm. Can you read it? Go, go and confirm. Read it, it read it, read it. Yeah, read it. Luke 
this this is for you and your your viewers luke chapter 10 verse 18 <laughs> the way jesus saw satan come from lightning from heaven <laughs> is the exact same way paul saw allegedly saw jesus on mm. the road to damascus but he, first of all my friend see, my friend here it's not just a lighting this is very very naive of you because the lord he said to him shawol shawol why you are uh, like uh, 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 discriminating me or going after me why you are so he spoke yeah. to him it's not just was a lighting so why you are mixing things up yeah he spoke what, to him what, and he may, uh, hold on hold on hold yeah. on hold on hold yeah, on my okay, friend okay. when you want to go and you want to compare you have to compare between things is in the same way in the same method in the same accent or the same 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 uh, uh, same event with it's not just a light it's not just uh, etc it's God is speaking to him so when God he How spoke, you know it was God though. Well, here How we go know, because he was able to do that. because he was able to carry the message of Jesus. He was able yeah. to accomplish the message of know? Jesus. My friend, how, how, do you, how know? you know if you want to go by how you know how you know Muhammad is a prophet? He never have a witness. He did not God never spoke to him. He never even heard the voice of his God. He have an angel come to him. Hold on. He have an angel coming to him and he claimed to be an angel. But I just showed you from your books that the angel came to Muhammad as Jibreel, but it was shaitan and you agree with that so how you know that muhammad yeah. is seeing angel when okay. your book saying that this is what shaitan his name is abiyad okay but the shaitan came to try and corrupt the quran but he failed but i'm saying paul my friend how, how you, you how know, you know he, he failed he how you know he failed how you know he failed how you know he failed my friend I know if, if the quran is not mind. if the quran first of all they cannot corrupt the quran because the quran itself is a corruption muhammad is a false prophet secondly when muhammad he said that the one who gave me that is a is a shaitan what is the proof that shaitan gave that to muhammad do you have any proof bro i already told you about that man no no you don't tell me what is the proof what is the proof that shaitan gave that to muhammad it's not muhammad he himself is a shaitan what is the proof Bro, we got we're going around in circles now no man. we are not we are not i'm asking you Ooh. the same as you are saying to Ooh. me that paul he Ooh, saw a light my, no my friend my Ooh, friend you have to prove you have to prove that he's so shaitan you have to prove it if if paul is if paul he's so shaitan he said you have to do the act of shaitan did paul commit the crimes did he was adulterer did he was a thief like your prophet he was a child molester he was a criminal. He was what? He wasn't a child molester, man. Why, why do you say that? Well, Muhammad, he didn't marry a child six years, years old. Ago. But this is a big fat lie. Here we go. We go to the hadith again. Your Aisha, she's saying that. Is Aisha the wife of the Prophet? She did not know when Muhammad he married her. So when you speak against Paul, you have to give me a reference to say Paul was a bad person. Because Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So how we will know if Paul is serving God? From his but fruit he says, now here we he go Muhammad here with, the, read with me now read with me please here we go your prophet your your prophet wife witnessing that the prophet at the age of 54 he was marrying her when she was six years old now Paul yeah. if he is a bad person why he don't do Muhammad work why he don't go and kill and rape and ride and steal why the apostle of jesus did not accuse paul that he stole an underwear like prophet, your prophet the last prophet let me ask you let me ask then. you did did your prophet was your prophet <laughs> accused of stealing underwear uh, i don't know maybe in in these false hadiths i don't know okay so you you, okay. you your muslims your muslim the campaign of the prophet they accuse muhammad of See, there's a lot of corrupted hadiths my friend it look like your religion is corrupt so how you can't trust your religion each time I say this something to you, to excuse you me. That. Each time I say something there. to you, each time I say something to you, you say there's a lot of corrupt hadith. So you are saying that to me that Islam is diving yeah, in corruption. So how you attack Look. Paul? Even your book saying Paul is a messenger of Jesus. So what would we do with that? Stop, stop falsely attributing Paul. To and let me ask you. Not, let me ask you a very simple enough. question. Why your why your Muhammad, the smart Muhammad, the inspired Muhammad, the prophet of Allah Muhammad? Why he did not notice that Paul, the way appeared to him, is the same as Shaitan appeared to Jesus. Why he is a fool, but you are smart. You why the hold on, hold on. Why the Muslims today? Why the Jesus Muslims today? Hold on, fall, shut right? up, shut up, hold on. Why the Muslims shut like up? You are going to talk over me. Go, go, go. Why the Muslims today? They say to us, we found the name of Muhammad in Isaiah. Why Muhammad did not say, go and open Isaiah and read this verse for me? Your Muslims knows, but Muhammad do not know. Allah told you, but he did not tell Muhammad. Why you Muslim, you say that the converter is Muhammad. 
why Allah did not say to Muhammad here we go tell the Christians I am the converter why Ahmad did that he came 1400 years after Muhammad saying that Muhammad in the song of songs why your stupid Muhammad did not say hey open the song of songs I am there why you Muslims keep saying to us that our prophet was a donkey but we are smarter You're a prophet, do not know, and you know. Are you going to answer me, my friend? Hello, Christian Prince. Yeah, why your you're prophet right. do not know what you know? I want to ask you, how come your knowledge is a lot more powerful than your prophet? It isn't. I get all my knowledge from him. Okay, why your prophet never mentioned once the name of any of the apostles of Jesus? He didn't mention Paul. Why? That's what I'm trying to tell no. you. No, did he mention John? Oh, did he mention John? Did Paul he mention John? Did he mention Peter? He mentioned Yahya, yeah, yeah. He was where he mentioned Peter. Give John me the give me the reference. Give me the reference. John the Baptist is not an apostle of Jesus, my friend. I'm talking about John. Yeah, he was a prophet. He okay, was a prophet. Where he, he mentioned or where he John. where your prophet mentioned the names of the apostle of Jesus. How we will know who That's they are. Right. Why your prophet did not do his job as a prophet? Shouldn't he tell us? Well, he, he, he wrote exactly what he was told to write. Where, where? No, no. You see, there's something missing here. You are saying he wrote exactly what he'd been told to write. Is that the shaitan told him not to write about the apostle of Jesus? What he will lose if he tell us more information. Who are they? The, the Horiyin, the Hawariyin. Who are they, those guys? I don't know, man. But all I know is the, the real apostles were all murdered. Let me ask you, you a know, question. And then, and uh, okay, no, no problem. No problem. Okay. Later. Let me ask you a question. When your scholars, they say that Paul, he did miracles in the name of Jesus. Why your scholars are lying? My scripture doesn't say that, though. My scripture doesn't say that. No, your, your scholars, they're saying that in their reference, going back all to the days of Muhammad. So why they are saying that? Why they are lying to us? They're not lying, man. Why? What do you mean they are not lying? They might. Paul is okay. the black sheep of Christianity, man. He, you he's see? the one who made you guys. My worship. friend, first of all, this is Jesus stupid of you. Himself. Because if Paul, he did something different, this is mean it should be total, uh, total different from what is taught in four Gospels. Four Gospels in total agreement with Paul. So you are lying Does again. Even, four lying, Gospels, four Gospels in total agreement with, with Paul. All the four gospels say that Jesus is God. Paul says Jesus is God. Four gospels oh, they say, the hold history, on. Man. Four gospels says that Jesus was a crucified. Paul he says Jesus was a crucified. Everything the four gospels teach, Paul he teach. So you are lying again. Paul wasn't, Paul wasn't there though. What, doesn't matter. Doesn't mean? matter. Doesn't matter. What do you mean that wasn't there? He no, wasn't he, was the there. He, no was, he was there. No, he was there. He was sending even. He, he was there. sending letters even to the apostle who they are exist in the time of Jesus. What are you talking about? He was there. And you are lying, and you Muslims, no, you are no, you are Muslims. You have a copy paste. You see, when I ask you, you see how later. stupid you are. Let me show you how stupid you are. Let me show you how stupid you are. Who is the first Muslim? He said Paul is a bad person. Wait, I'm not saying he's bad. Who, I'm saying no, he's no, bad. no, 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 no. You are attacking Paul. I'm asking you, who is the first Muslim? He said Paul is a bad person. I don't know. I'm, I, then well, shut I'm up. You from my then research. shut up. I'm you are a copy from, paste. No, you are I'm a copy you paste. You research. are a copy paste. Don't call me again. I don't talk to liars. Either you tell me. Be I'm honest lying, with me. Man. Then I'll tell me. You. Be honest Luke with me. To, who, Luke you, Luke where you learn that Paul is a bad person? From who? Tell me. You. You. Tell me. Who is the one who told you that Paul? I'm telling you from my own research. That's that is a lie. Research in what? Research in where? How do you always think everything? Research by who? Even your books is against what you are saying. So you are saying to me, I go against my books. No, I'm telling you from okay. 10 to 18. I want That's you to tell I me. It. I want you to be honest with me. I will go back with, with zero. In chapter 36, verse number 14, who are they, the three messengers of Allah? I don't know. I wasn't there. Then shut up. I know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm be said, al to right. be said, Ibn yeah, Kathir yeah. said, at tabari said, shut up, liar. You see, when they want, they say, go and see the scholar. When they want, they don't want the scholars. Don't call me again. I have no time for, for liars. How you know, how you know. Each time I show him reference, how you know. Aisha, she said, how you know. Ajalarain said, how you know. 
How we can talk about anything with, with, with someone like this? How you know? How you know that this is true? Muhammad have no witnesses. Muhammad, he saw an angel with 600 wings. The angel, he squeezed Muhammad, no witnesses. Hello. <clears throat> Are you there? <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Yes, you, my friend. How are you? I'm all right. Are you good? My friend, I just want to ask some questions just quickly because, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm running from far, but the, the, the two Timothy, I like you very much. I know that I really like you. I like you and too. But what about what about what we said, my friend? You don't want to talk about it? Is there a shame in chapter 56, will, verse 14? My friend, I, quickly, too, quickly, too, quickly, too, quickly, too. Quickly, too. I want, I want to know from you as a Muslim, I want you to tell yes. me, you as a Muslim, who are the three messengers of God in chapter 36, verse number no, 14? Can come to that. Can we have time? You jump. You no, no we are not jumping because this is our topic. You call me. This is my topic. You are the one is jumping. You are the one is jumping. This is our topic. This is our topic. You don't tell me what I will talk about. Answer me, please. What is the problem? Why do you want to answer? Why do you want to answer? What's the problem? I want to. I want to. Can we take it step by step and then? Can step by step, no problem. problem. Answer me first. Tell me. I want to see how much knowledge you have because I, if you do not know your book, how you can talk about my book? If you do not know your own book, to answer about your own book, how you can answer me about your own book if you do not know your own book? And how you explain to me my book? I can ask you to for help can you allow me to ask you i will I, I will allow you but i want you to tell me we are talking already about a topic is not up to you chapter 36 verse number 14 is speaking about the three messengers is that those uh, uh, paul one of them no, no, no. and john is one of them and peter is one of them yes or no I will, I will discuss that. I will discuss. No, I don't trust Muslim. Muslim, they say I will, but they never do. This is what I Allah He says. Allah He said, I will send miracle. Wait, and I, I wait with you. Your God, Allah He says, I will erase your faces. He never did. I don't trust Muslims. Why you don't want to answer? What is the problem? What is the problem? Why you don't answer? Answer me. It's going to take you two minutes. It's going to take you two minutes to answer, and we will go to your topic. Go ahead. Okay. Surah Yasin 36. Verse number 14. 36 14. Hmm. Wait, hold on. I don't, I'm trying to trying to ask you for help. 36. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hmm. It says, and it starts from verse 13. Hmm. Set forth to them a way of a parable, the story of the companions of the city. Now, many of the classical commentators have supposed that the city referred to Antioch. Okay. Antioch was one of the most important cities in northern Syria in the first century. Mm. And then it says that is the sun lining of men forget the room of our Zizna be fairly and before in Nalik Mursun? Then we sent to them two apostles. They rejected them, but we strengthened them with a third. They said, Truly, we have been sent to you. Now Allah sends his apostles or teachers of truth by one or twos, and when the opposition is great, he considers it necessary, he supports them with others. Their mission is divine. The message is expressed in human language, but it exposes itself as evil. Who are now, they, those the messengers? My friend, you are talking too much. You are not giving me the answer. What? Who are they, the three? My question is, who are they? You talk too much like a Britney woman. How many messengers are three? What is their names? Make it simple. What is the names of the three messengers? The Quran does not mention the name of the messenger. It's mentioned and you are a liar. This is Ibn Kathir in front of me. Read Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is in the front of Ibn Kathir is in the front of my eyes. If someone says 700 years from now, Christian Prince is a donkey, you must I believe him. Ibn Kathir came 700 years later. Okay, no problem. Said, okay, hold on. I Which is interpretation you like? What is the early interpretation you like to show you? Shut up. What is the early interpretation? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let me get you shut up. What is the early interpretation you like me to show you? Give me the earliest and we go there. Suleiman, show me Muqatil ibn Sulaiman. What if Muqatil? What if Muqatil ibn Sulaiman? Okay, hold on, hold on. Muqatil ibn Sulaiman, right? 
Okay, yes. if I show you Muqatil ibn Sulaiman, you are not going to say I don't agree with him. What if ibn Sulaiman never mentioned that verse? What we will do? Well, then, then we have to go to, for example, uh, but listen to me. Can I talk? Who is the one I'm second sure after Muqatil ibn Sulaiman? Who is the one? Who is your choice of after Muqatil ibn Sulaiman? Muhammad Asad. Muhammad Asad. Muhammad Asad is an early. How how many years Muhammad Asad is? Have you heard of Muhammad Asad? I am learning have from you. you. Who is Muhammad Asad? Tell me what who is have Muhammad you Asad? Heard of Mu Muhammad Asad was a Jew who became a Muslim Mufassirin. Okay. Muhammad Asad. So now okay, so the uh, a Jew who became a Muslim, what how many years after Muhammad? Many years after Muhammad, many, many years. So but you are the I one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, okay, okay, Muqatil ibn Sulaiman is the earliest commentary. Do we agree okay. that Muqatil hold on. was the earliest okay, commentary? Okay, hold on, hold on. Here we go. This is, this is Muqatil ibn Sulaiman. Muqatil, this yes. is, okay, read with me, please. Yeah, well, it's not there on the computer. Where is it? It I is in the front of me. It. I am showing the screen. It is there. No, 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 but it's not on the screen. Is it on the screen? Yes, it is in the screen. I have to mute it. I don't know how to use this thing. You see, I'm the first time I'm using it. But but mm. could, could you promise me? Could you promise me that we'll discuss my question? No right? problem. Please. Read read with me, please. <laughs> Allow me also to discuss. Okay, it read with me, please. You are wasting my time. Read, stop screaming. You are giving me headache. Read for me, please. Yes, I, I, I cannot see on the screen. I've got YouTube. It's not open. Can you read what Mukatil says? Go I don't switch, know. switch to YouTube. I want you to okay, read with I'm your own to... eyes. I, I want you to read I'm with your own to... eyes. I want you I to read. Zakir, my friend. Zakir Naik is my friend. I can get him to debate you too. You know that? Who is you? Who? Zakir, Zakir Naik is a good friend. He will of not mine, even right? dare. He will not even dare to say hello to me. I get him, you will be surprised. You wanna you wanna be bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? You wanna bet? We can do a bet. I don't I don't no cheat. problem. I don't gamble, okay, I, I challenge you. I challenge you. I okay, deliver my as long as he is your friend, deliver my message to him. And by the way, I challenge him, I challenged him many years ago. He challenged him many years ago, and one of his admin in his page, I don't know if it's him, he said, You have to bring with you 2,000 people, and I will debate you, which means know, he's making it impossible. That, no, I know, but, but okay. the trouble, the trouble my friend, don't change the topic. That, Read with me. This is this is Muqatil. This is Muqatil. This is Muqatil. This is Muqatil. Let us go to the topic. Yes. Read with me. Yes. Read. Yes. When Shakat is uh, Samau, for here, your maiden, why here is a Samau and Shakat. I'm not so sure. That what are you talking about? What, what, my friend, what, what are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? Um, what's on the screen? I've got what on the screen on my, I don't know what's on the screen. It doesn't, it doesn't show that in the screen. What are you talking about? What is it? Then Shakat is Samau, for Kenneth. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay maybe, maybe your internet, uh, uh, refresh the page, refresh. I'm going to try and refresh the page, my brother. Mm. Um, I like you very much, but please allow me to talk because I'm never given the permission to talk here. Yeah, that's no, all I want. No, but to be you see, because I have my experience with Muslims, they always jump from a topic to topic to topic. No, no, but I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. Mm -hmm. It's very, very unclear. Um, so, for one year, uh, it's very unclear. It's very unclear on my screen, but it's okay. highlighted in blue. My I will screen. read for you. Your Arabic is funny. You don't know Arabic. Let me read for you. فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقوى اوكي 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 ريد فور مي جو اهيد ريد فور مي يو ار جيفين مي هيديك ماي فريند سيريسلي فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث ذات از فروم سوره ياسين ذات از ذا اكشوال اند ذن اوف كورس سبسيكونتلي فقوينا يعني فشددنا ارسلين بثالثه بثالث حيني صدقهما بتو حدود الله وحين احيا الجاري ام ام فروم انديا وكان اسمح شمعونا انا ام اوسو وذ ذات فالز وكان الحوارين ذات في حواريون از ذا ديسايبلز اوف جيسس حواريون وكما وصايا عيسي عيسى ابن مريم it doesn't say Paul here. It doesn't say my Paul. friend. Read, read, read. We are laughing. We are laughing. Continue. Stop screaming. Stop, sc stop screaming. Stop screaming, please. You are giving me a headache. Read, please. 
Okay. I'm sorry, my friend. I don't mean to offend you. Okay, go on. Start. Okay, please, please continue. Please continue. Continue reading. Okay. Um. Um. Fakol in Ilaikum Mursalin. That is Ayah uh, Ayah uh, fourteen. That is what is our son Ilaikum Mursalin. Um. Fakadabuhuma. One of. Fagtu. Thalik. Bikum. Ya ahla. It's not clear. Your screen is not clear. You've taken it up. You brought it up. You brought it up from the screen. You need to bring it down. I can't, I can't read. You blocked the screen. You blocked the screen. You did something which is not right, my friend. My friend, let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. Let me read it for you and make it simple. Okay. You, have, you have no Arabic. You do not speak Arabic. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, let me show you. you. Let me show you. Let me make it simple. It it hold, hold on. Hold, shut hold. up. Don't make me hang up on you. You are giving me headache again. I am speaking for many hours and everyone is, is uh, shout in my head. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you, my you friend, really very hard, listen, man. listen. <laughs> Here it says, وَكَانَ إِسْمُهُ شَمْعُونَ وَكَانَ الْحُوَارِيُونَ كَمَا كَمَا وَصَّى عِيسَى إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ So do you agree that those are the messengers of Jesus? Uh, according to the commentary, it says messengers of Jesus. Thank you very much. Those messengers here yes. in the same interpretation, they did miracles. Shamaun. So Shamaun, you saying is Paul. My He's friend, my friend, my friend, no problem. Uh, hold on, hold Paul. on, hold on. How, how, how it's Jesus, no this Paul. is the, this is, you see, I showed you where it says Paul, you don't like it, you want this one here, we will get you busted again. Because even if it doesn't say Paul, it still it says that Jesus is God. Because how the messenger of Jesus, they can do miracles in the name of Jesus. How the messenger of Jesus, they can be... They, hold on, hold on, shut up, shut up. Hold on, hold on. How Shamoon? How, hold on, how, hold on. How, you, just to show you, just show you, just to show you, just to show you how stupid Muslims are. Here it says, you, 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 the guy you choose for me, he, 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 he named to Thomas as Thoman. Who is Thoman? And then he calls someone his name <laughs> when Nunos. This is Bolos. This is Bolos in the front of you. He called him Nunos. It's in the front of you. It says, it's read with me. Read, 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 you idiot. Read. It says, Toman and Nonos. He is quoting Bolos as Nonos. Who is Nonos? Okay, I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me who is Nonos. Hold on, shut up. Shut up. Who is who is Mr. Nonos? Abdul, who is Mr. Nonos? Shut up. Sh shut up, please. Second, who is Mr. Nonos? I will shut up. Who is Nonos? Okay, who is who is the disciple of Jesus? His name is Nonos. Is that Bolos? My friend, who is Nonos? This is the name. This is the name of a person. Who is Mr. Nonos? There's a guy, his name is Toman. This is Thomas. And the guy, his name is Nonos. This is Bolos. Otherwise, you tell me who is Toman. You tell me. You tell me who is who is, who is the messenger of Jesus, my friend. You are giving me headache. You are giving me headache. I want you shut up for for the sake of, for the sake of the shin of Allah. Who is Mr. Nunos, please? Okay. Who is Nunos? Let us take it one by one. Let us take it one by one. Let us take it one by one. Who is Nunos? Who is Nunos? Okay. So you. Paul, you say I am Paul. asking you, you no, know, I don't want I don't want you to believe he's Paul. I was asking you who is Nunos. Nunos is not Paul. How you know this is not, is Paul? not Paul? Okay, who who because is Tom? Tell There's you, two guys. I tell, you, I tell you, I tell you, if you look at Lisan al just go. Just go. Lisan al Arab, you don't even know how to speak Arabic. Who is Nonos? This is Paulos. The guy is stupid. Even Paulos in Arabic, they caught it wrong. The same as you caught Isa. Who is Isa? They got all the names wrong. Toman and Nonos. We never heard of a guy, his name is Nonos. This is Paulos. And who is Toman? This is Thomas. <laughs> and guys, here you will notice with me something very important. Hello, my friend. Read with me carefully. Hello. Read with me carefully. Yes. I want to say thank you first, first of all, because you chose for us an interpretation proving that Jesus is God. Because those messengers of Jesus, hold on. 
it says yes, that it says yes, that did no, those people do those people do those people did, you say, did they, those people you hold on hold yes. on hold on that they did the disciple of jesus according to the interpretation in front of us resurrect people from the grave yes, yes or no yes how they can do that according to, according to the interpretation mm -hmm. Tuman and Nunus are described as the disciples here, but mm -hmm. nowhere in the Arabic text or scripture or the Arabic dictionary does it say that Nunus is Paul. Okay, That's tell me who is Nunus. Okay, show me in show me who is Nunus. Show me who is no hold on, hold on, don't be stupid. Show me in any Islamic reference who is Mr. Nunus. Nunus is someone that is identified as Nunus. We are unknown who he who is. is he? Who unknown, is he? Unknown, unknown. Ah, is unknown. <laughs> Suddenly, there is nobody in history he reported someone. His name is Nunus. My friend. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will go with you. I will go with you. No, you. So you are saying to me you do not know who is Nunus. Who is Toman? Toman. It's not Toman. 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 It says Toman. Toman. Okay, who is Toman? Who is Toman? Toman is not. Brother. Who is he? Tuman is not Thomas. Who is he? Tuman is Tuman. Who is he? Tuman is Tuman. How come Tuman nobody report this? I mean, how 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 in the world you Muslim you come with this? Who is this guy? Nobody heard of him. Nobody heard of Nonus. Obviously, this is a mis misquotation for the names. The same as your prophet, he called Isa. Nunus is Paul. No, no. According to Christian princes, Nunus Paul. Because this is Will you tell me this is what? This is a fumbulos. Okay, who is he? You have to tell me then who is he. And at the same time, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me sh let, let everybody will laugh at you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't make me hang up on you, please. I'm losing my patience. Let us go, let us go, let us go with the three messengers who they are Toman and Nunos and Shamoon. Is it true? Here they are saying that they resurrected people from the graves. Okay, so so who is Shamoon? This is another question now. Forget those are the three messengers of Jesus. Forget about who's, uh, who they are. Hold on, don't don't play games. Three messengers of Jesus, they are resurrecting okay, so people from the grave. You tell me, you tell me who is Shamon. You tell me, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care for the name. Now, it, it, what no, I care no, for, no, 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 what no, I care for, shut that up, that shut up, you donkey, up. shut up. You, you are an insult for a humanity. You cannot even have a conversation. I am asking you a very simple question. If those are the messengers of Jesus, how Jesus can make them messengers who can do miracles? Is he God? He's not God. So how he can make a three men, how he can give the authority to three men to be messengers of him in the same time they can do miracles, including resurrecting people from death. The Quran in Surah 36, 13, 14, and 15 doesn't Jesus gave authority to them. It speaks about when we when we send to them two apostles, they reject them. Who is we? We Allah. When Allah sends, unless you're saying Jesus, Allah, which is nonsensical. Thank no you very much. Guys, like, did he say? Hold on. No he just Quran said, he just said, he just said the one who sent them is Allah. But the interpretation you yes. choose for me, it says they are the Hawarian of Isa and they are the messengers of Isa. Read with me. But where does they say? My friend, my, it says, it, it, it is says, so it's, says, hold on, hold on, hold on. They are the apostles. Okay, hold on, hold on. Based on this, that Allah, according to you, Allah, when he asked Jesus to be a prophet, he asked Shamun, he asked Tuman, he asked Nonos to be and messengers at the same time. Is that correct? So my question to you is, who is Shamun? Don't, is don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Did Allah, did Allah send one messenger at that time to... Did Allah send one Shaun, messenger? How, you, don't be stupid. It says there those are the Hawariyun of Isa. Wasa Isa ibn Maryam. Listen, listen. Let me get you busted. This is your interpretation. It says, Kama Wasa Isa. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let me talk. Let me talk for a second. Shame on you. Kama Wasa Isa. Kama Wasa Isa ibn Maryam. Fakala inna ilaykum mursaloon. As Isa, yes. he did deliver. Inna ilaykum mursalun. So it is Isa no, is the one. No, 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 no. It is Isa. It is Isa. Mursalun. The Hurin. Who is referring? Shut up, you liar. You are a liar. You are a fake person. You have no dignity. You are the one who asked me to read the interpretation. The interpretation in the front of you. It says, "Shut up, shut up. Don't make me make you any mute." Listen. Does it say here? 
that the one who sent them Isa, come on, was Isa ibn Maryam. They are saying, We are sent to you as Isa was. Does it say that in the interpretation? Okay, okay, okay. does it say that? That we are sent to can you as 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 Kawasiya to Isa. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Can I talk? Can mm. I talk? Mm. And I can I say? But I, I want you to read talk? the sentence in the front yes, of you. I, I highlight yes. the sentence for you. Read it. Go ahead. My brother, can I respond? Can I respond? Please, my brother. I'm giving. You I am not your brother. I am like, not the brother of Lilith, the devil. Go ahead. Lilith, okay, but can can I respond? Because Go ahead. it's important that I also get time to answer. And I hope you don't cut. Yeah, but me but you respond. Sure but respond what I I highlighted for you, please. Go ahead. And I will highlight that is basically the tafsir you are giving. Mm -hmm. But we have to take you back. We have to take you Guys, back to what now the tafsir he gave me. Shut up, shut up. I have no time for you. Now the tafsir is not good. He is the one who asked me to go to this tafsir, and now the tafsir says that. But we have to go back. The tafsir says that. Suddenly the tafsir is bad. You fought me for the last hour. Don't call me again. I have. I am done with you. You fought me for one hour to show you this tafsir. You refuse Ibn Kathir. You refuse Al Qurtubi. You refuse Al Jalalain. You said, I want this guy. I die for this guy. This is my man. Don't call me. I have no time for kids. And then when I show you the tafsir saying that those are the messengers of Jesus, you say, Oh, the tafsir says that. We have to go back and see in a different place. Suddenly, the tafsir is bad. Listen carefully, everybody. It says here in the front of us that those are the three messengers of Isa, as Isa command them. Come on, what's Isa ibn Maryam? And then they took them to dead women. To a dead woman. And they resurrected the women from the grave. فَوَضَعَهَا عَلَى رَأْسِهَا ثُمَّ قَالَ عُودِي مَكَانَكِ فَعَادَتْ And Simon Peter, Shamoon, he took a grab of sand, a dirt, from the grave, and he put it in the top of the dead woman. And he said to her, in the top of her head, and he said to her, go back where you came from. And she came. And nobody believed, even though he did the miracle, except a guy, his name, Habibun Najjar. And he was one from the children of Israel. Here, we notice something very important. The Quran confirmed that Jesus is God. Because the Quran says, as he said, we sent messengers. The tafsir says, Kama wasa Isa ibn Maryam, as Isa he commanded. Inna ilaykum mursadun. When they said to you we are sent, he connect that to say, as Isa he command, kama wasa Isa. And they accused him of a lie. And then Shama'un after that, he went with his two messengers, which means there are three, they challenged them to do a miracle. And they resurrected a human being from the grave. By the power of who? By the command of Isa. Here, Islam is in a big shame, in a big shame because the Muslim they say to us, Muhammad he said that between him and between Isa, there is no messengers. Let me show you how we strip it, Muhammad, how we got him busted. Between me and Isa, there's no messengers. <laughs> Read carefully with me, please. I am most akin to the son of Mary among the whole of mankind. And the prophet are different mothers but one religion and no prophet was raised between me and him jesus now by the way it doesn't say even there no prophet but it's meant there's no messenger or a prophet between us 
how Muhammad he said there's no messengers between me and the Isa and the story in the interpretation and in the verses in all Islamic scholar they agree agree that those three are the messengers of Jesus and they are powerful messengers Muhammad himself he could not resurrect people from death how the messengers of Jesus they can resurrect a human being from death and this is written in your Islamic books you quote for me what is enough to prove that Jesus is God and Muhammad is a scam if I am a prophet <clears throat> Muhammad as an example he sent Muhammad uh, hold on hold on my friend hold on don't go on let me finish my uh, my, my topic Muhammad he sent Dahya al-Kalbi to the king of the Roman as a messenger. Did Dahya al-Kalbi ever did any miracle? No. Isa he sent the three messengers. What those messengers they do? They resurrect people from the grave. And the Quran says that it is we he will send them, which means Allah. And in the interpretation it says, Kama wasa Isa. As Isa, he command. When we got this guy busted, he says we have to go to different place. Suddenly, he don't want this interpretation. You can call me now, my friend. <laughs> I am a friend of Zakir Naik, brother. By the way, I'm a friend of Zakir Naik. I mean, what is the mystery about Jesus who can send men? Yet those men, they can do what nobody can do is save God. How a messenger of God can hire me to be a messenger of God? Can Muhammad make you a prophet or messenger of God? He cannot. Yes, my friend. Did you, hear, you, me? Did you hear the friend of, of Zakir Naik? Yeah, <laughs> the friend of Zakir Naik. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, you know, you know, I noticed something. Uh, he didn't like Ibn Kathir, right? Yeah. Did you notice? <clears throat> he don't like it. No, he, he refused all. He won just, uh, yeah. he said he want to go to, uh, because he thought that this is the safest for him. The reason, yeah. the, the reason they chose this guy, by the way, because this guy, there's tons of verses in the Quran. He never even explained anything of them. It's it's, it's a yeah. small, tiny tafsir, you know? Yeah. But, but let us think, uh, CP, why didn't he like Ibn Kathir? Because he know Ibn Kathir will get him busted. And Ibn Kathir, he lived between the Christians in Syria, right? Well, you know, Ibn Kathir, he will get him busted. And the rest will... What about the rest? Forget about Ibn yeah. Kathir. Why he refused yeah. the rest? Okay, for, let us say Ibn Kathir is a bad person. He don't like him. He don't agree with him. Okay, what about the rest? We can read all kind of interpretation. I can change. I showed him Al-Baghawi. What, what's wrong with Al-Baghawi? Al-Baghawi <laughs> became Pupu now? Ibn yeah. Kathir himself, Ibn Kathir, he called from Al Baghawi, which means yeah. which means Al Baghawi is the master of Ibn Kathir. Okay, uh, uh, why we don't want Al Baghawi? No, we don't want Al Baghawi. We wanted some. We want something uh, uh, earlier. Actually, I like to have the earlier one of Islam. But you notice with me, suddenly he said to me, Ibn Asad. You know, okay. So mm. when he want, when he want, here we go. Like you know, when 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 we ask a Muslim, which one you like me to Code for you. Yeah, they choose what is fit and sweet them supposedly. They think this is the best. And here yeah. we go. This guy he fought hardly to to get something. Like as an example, here we have a guy. His name Zaid ibn Ali. He is older than Muqatil ibn Sulaiman. Yes. Okay. If we show him Zaid ibn Ali, look what Zaid ibn Ali will say. Nothing. This is interpretation. Look at this. He could just he just got the verse. <laughs> the ver that, there's no interpretation. So usually they try to quote for you someone who said nothing. The less he say, the less he expose. This is the point. I want to get you someone who don't speak too much because we Muslims, the more we talk, the more we do poo poo. Yes, safe to be safe, right? <laughs> yeah, you will notice that the earliest scholars in Islam they did not even explain those verses, most of them. Like this guy, Ibn uh, uh, Abdullah Sufna ibn Sa'id, a, a Thawri, mm -hmm. who is 161. Uh, uh, you see, I'm trying to find the earliest, the earliest Muslims to, to go there. But anyway, 
Here's a choice. This one, Gharib al-Quran, Zayd ibn Ali. Yeah, a couple of words only. A yeah. couple of words. Well, uh, what, what about the Tabari or, or Qurtubi? All, of them, all, they, all they agree, all they agree. You see, they, yeah. they cannot, this is why they stay away from them. But he chose, mm -hmm. he, he thought, by choosing this guy, Muqatil ibn Sulaiman, he can get away with mm -hmm. what we are trying to say and trying to prove. And, yeah. and as long all the Muslim scholars agree that those are the messengers of Jesus, and the same time, uh, uh, they were able to do miracles and they are commanded by Jesus, not yeah, by Allah. G uh, Christian Prince, that's not only it. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, this uh, Mufassir uh, that he uh, loved to quote and uh, that you discuss for the last 30 minutes, hmm. he mentioned uh, uh, Toman and, and uh, Nunos. Uh, Nunos, Nunos and <laughs> Shamoun. He asked, who is Shamoun? And I, I mean, you're an Arab speaker. I'm an Arab speaker. Hmm. We, we Arab speaking Christian. We call Shamoun Simon Peter in right. Arabic. It's Shamoun. Yeah. So if if this Mufassir knows Shamoun, who are Nunus and who is uh, Toman? Yeah. They are Thomas. Those, uh, those they are, are names. Those, those are names we never heard of them. You know. Yeah, we, we, we didn't hear, but he yeah. he misquoted but the names. Obviously, so obviously, obviously, uh, Bulos became Nunus. Yeah, and Bulls became Nunus, yeah. And and Thomas became yeah. Toman. <laughs> yeah, but another 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 damaging thing. Where did this Mufassirun get those names from? They got it from the Christians around them. Yeah, and how they knew about the, the story of Antioch. Yeah, you know, what, Antioch, you know. <laughs> all of us where we you knew, get this from all of us all Christians. of us we knew that this is a story mentioned that this actually the first name was given to us as a Christians when people they went to the city of Antioch. Yes, you know? yes, and I, I'm originally my friend. Uh, originally, I'm from Antioch. I, okay. I am from Antioch because uh, the Christians, the early Christians, lived there. My family, all my family, uh, are from Antioch. All right, okay, good for so, you. So yeah, so so yeah, uh, they got it from the Christians, and now all of a sudden the the, the <clears throat> scholars they, uh, and no one agrees with another. This is Islam. Pick your cherries. Pick what you like. Yeah, right? Anything is embarrassing. Suddenly they want to. Suddenly Ibn Kathir. By the way, Ibn Kathir is a big scam. Scam back for me. I, 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 he's a big fat liar because Ibn Kathir, <coughs> all his book is written just to defend Islam, not to explain the Quran. Yeah. But even though he is written a book to defend Islam, he get himself busted. And by the yes. way, even Bulos, we Christian, we don't say Bulos. Bulos, Bulos. Look at this Bulos. You know, they cannot even quote any name correctly. Yeah, we call him Bulus or Rasul. Arab Christians, that's why we call him, right? Yeah. yeah. Bulus. They, they, they say Bulus. Bulus. You see, Bulos. Here, <laughs> here, here, this is the tra translation in English for you, but in Arabic, it's really funny. And uh, mm -hmm. as an example, uh, 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 like they call the, na the name uh, uh, Shamoun correct, but most of the names usually, they come really weird and very funny. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Ibn Kathir was the most closest one. He says Shamoun for the people who is are in the chat. Read with us. Shamoun, Yohanna is John. Shamoun is Simon Peter, and Bulus is Paul. That's how we uh, call uh, them exactly yeah, in but, Arabic. But Ibn Al Baghawi, he said that uh, we can we can yeah. show tons of references, not only you know, not only in one place. Uh, yeah. uh, we we can show from the Durul Mansur. Uh, uh, yeah. We can show from At Tabari. Uh, we can show from uh, Ibn Hatim. Uh, yes. uh, you know, there's tons of tons of reference about that. Even even from the book of Sirah, the book of Sirah, yeah. Kitab al Sirah, Sirat Ibn Hisham, it says there that Paulus was one of them. And by the way, in the book of Sirah, it's written the name Paulus correctly, not the rest of of of, uh, of, of the books. So yes. it says there, Butros al Hawari wa ma'ahu Paulus. وكان بولس من أتباع من الأتباع ولم يكن من الحوارين إلى رومية. They are saying that Paulus he was from أتباع, which means he is from the apostle of the apostle, yes. according to them. However, they confirm that the one who went there it was Paulus, and he is a yes. messenger of God. So yeah. why the Muslims attack Paulus if all their books the scholars they keep saying Paulus is the messenger of Allah? Yeah, and it's funny that they are attacking him. Well, Bulus is a very important messenger in Islam. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling. Yeah. Uh, uh, la last thing uh, uh, for people who are interested, you see the name Antioch. That's uh, basically uh, the east, uh, southeast of of Turkey. Uh, originally, uh, many many Orthodox Christians 
uh, Oriental Orthodox Christians, the first Christians, they lived there. And in 1915, together with all the Christians, including the Armenians, we were butchered. So, uh, so slaughtered, yeah. yeah, slaughtered. Uh, my, my grandfather, he was a baby and he was smuggled by his aunts. Look, this is in 1915. He was smuggled to Syria to not be killed because they killed the, the young uh, boys and they kept uh, the women for them as uh, slaves. Uh, slaves. Yeah, sex slaves. Yeah. Yeah. So they, yeah, if 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 my grandfather wasn't slaughtered, uh, was was slaughtered, I would not be here speaking with you today. Uh, yeah. So we we Christians suffered enough, you know. So and we will not be silent, and we will expose this false cult, this satanic cult called Islam. Yes, my friend. So we we, you, uh, we, we yeah. in the Middle East, we as a Christian, we paid a very high price to stay as a Christian. We are not we are not people who came Christians yesterday and he went they went to church. Where the door is open and we can pray anytime we yeah. are people who suffer a lot and this is why we are different kind of christians and we are war yeah. we are warrior yeah. exactly bro because you know uh, many people don't know this because they speak of the armenian genocide but it's not only the armenian christians it's the assyrian the syrian the syrian all the kind of christians all, all the, christians, the christians any christian all in christians town in 1915 yeah yeah and they do that in many many uh, many years not only 1915 1960 1860 Every yeah. every couple of and now not long time ago ISIS started by the help the help of the Turkish the Turkish is the one who opened all the borders for ISIS to come from around the world everybody yeah. know that yeah thank you very much uh, Christian Chris I love everyone in the text uh, we need to expose this cult guys God bless you God bless you Christian Prince and uh, keep it up my friend thank God you, bless you. thank you bye bye thank you all right guys I think we have enough for today I was supposed to open the the, the broadcast for 20 minutes like 15 20 minutes how many hours we are here now my day is gone how I'm going to finish this book <laughs> you know what I want to do this if tomorrow I open nobody come leave me alone I will see nobody is here like if I if I I, I get tempted <laughs> to get the Abdul busted if I open, nobody come, please. Like, ignore me. Like, okay, no, we are not coming. All right? So I will open, like, there's nobody there, so I will close. Because I need to finish this book. And, you know, each time I do live broadcast, after I finish, because we shout, I mean, you, you can imagine how many hours I'm shouting. It is a headache. Very bad. But my friend, all is the glory to our Lord. Look what happened. We got this Abdul. He would claim that he is a friend of Zakir Naik, which means he's a big shot. Like a human friend of Zakir Naik. Like Zakir Naik is a goat. Zakir Naik, he said that the word hur, brother, the sister is asking question. Why in Islam women did not have equal reward in heaven? First of all, the word hur in Arabic is a poorer word. It can be male and female. But what? The word hur can be male and female? So the Quran says they will not bleed because they did not lose their human. That is make them male? The Quran describes what is inside their vagina. And the stupid, he said, they can be male and female. And the stupid Muslims who they are watching, not even one of them, he says, shame on you to change the teaching of Allah. And like the Muslims, Allahu Akbar, brother, like their mouth is open, like, wow, man, look at this answer. Like Muhammad Hijab when he said that David would, Allah, he pray for, not to. Show me. Answer me. <laughs> and this guy today, he called us, and he chose an interpretation of his choice, and he got his prophet busted. There's no messenger between me and the Isa. And then we find there's a three messengers according to the Quran. And those are the messengers of Isa. And they did miracles. They resurrected people from death. How Jesus can make me a messenger of God? If he is just a messenger what kind of authority Jesus he have he command men of his own to go and became messengers of God and not only that they do miracles which Muhammad and the God of Islam could not do the Muslim they claim that Allah gave a permission that is a claim I can claim that I gave Allah himself a permission Muhammad never did miracle he cannot do miracle he is a scam and here we see the messengers of Jesus. Just because they are sent by Jesus, they can do miracles. 
thank you everybody for being here may the lord bless you all and until i see you again i will try not to go in tomorrow maybe for today so i can finish this thing i will try just bleh, let us see if i can do it but i will try we will see what will happen and i see you tomorrow guys may the lord bless you christ is lord islam is false and here we get them busted every day see you soon bye bye